This is my favorite part of the song. The Jaundice Brothers are the best. The Jaundice Brothers want to hit the stage for your school's homecoming dance. Send us your video telling us why your school deserves it. We must win. And action to myself. Hi, my name is Frankie, and everyone at Monster High loves the Jaundice Brothers. This is our high school. I'm the new girl. No, really, I swear, I'm, like, only 15 days old. Oh, here are my best school friends. Claudine, pleasure. The Jordan's brothers really need to play our homecoming dance. As long as it's not on the full moon, because being a werewolf, let's just say my clothes aren't the only things that are fierce during the full moon. I guess I'll turn it over to Jackie Lara, because she keeps picking me. Oh, yay! It's my turn. Jordan's brothers rule! <laughs> Deep, Gloria. Sup, Cave Blood? I'm Laguna. I love to carve a nice wave in the morning. Shocker. Point the camera towards me. I'm Cleo. Sup? I'm Deuce. Dialing in. Anyway, back to me. Oh, oh keep going. We're totally still recording. Homecoming dance today. You have to win the contest or I will die. Even alive, and I'll die. Oh, how will we know if we won? <gasps> so, Monster High, are you ready to rock? Something's wrong with Gulia. She looks upset. How can you tell? I'm telling you, she's upset about something. Let's tell. <laughs> hey, Gulia. How's it going? <laughs> oh, so you like slow mo, but you're too shy to talk to him. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. Your ghoul friends are here to help. Okay, ladies, let's orchestrate. The most important thing to remember, Gulia, whatever happens, do not be yourself. Dracula will tell you exactly what to do. Got it? <laughs> He's passing Coffin Corridor. Julia's not ready. Frankie, evasive maneuvers, go! That was for you, Gulia. <laughs> Compliment him. Point out how beautiful his eyes are. <laughs> Show him you're interested in him. Smile. <laughs> Here's what you need to do. Ask your head gently, then lean in like you want to hear what he has to say. Not too close, you'll freak him out, and then blink like twice in an adorable... Hey! Uh. I can't wait until I'm 1,700 years old and I can date. See, just like I said, all she had to do was be herself. No way I'm going out with a guy with more than four eyes, and he has, like, eight. Oh, no! I'm late for homie. Gotta run. These are tryouts for my fear-leading squad. Most of you will not survive the cut. There is no room on my squad for dead weight. Uh. We've got spirits, how about you? We've got spirits, yes we do. We've got spirits, how about you? We've got spirits, yes we do. We've got spirits, how about you? Master, Master, G, Master, 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 She is exceptional. Exactly what we want. Want? Want for what? <gasps> Frankie, you just made the fear leading team. Congratulations! Yes, we do. We've got spirits. How about you? We've got yeah. spirits. Yes, we do. We've got spirits. How about you? Dude, substitute creature today. Killer. Blow off day. What happened to Mistress Bloodgood? I heard it was poisonous leeches. No, no. I heard it was a scorching case of carnivorous fleas. <laughs> oh, that's ghastly. Quiet down, you little freaks. You two, stop talking. My name is... Loser! <laughs> <laughs> it is pronounced... 
Czar. Lou Czar. This is Tricky Little Calcometry 101. Open your books. Since I don't know where you left off, we're gonna do the whole book. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, dude. Yo, my brother. You, sir, are late. No, I'm Deuce. Deuce Gorgon. Mr. Loser? <laughs> I am the authority here. You, take those sunglasses off in my classroom. Man, you don't want me to do that. Oh, I insist. Whatever. You got it. Now, Mr. Czar, it looks like class dismissed. Hey, man, I tried to warn you. It wears off in a couple hours. Usually. for somebody without a pulse. Spill to Cleo. It's just that... Have you seen the new boy? He passes by my locker every day about now. Oh, wow, well, really? Boring. He is the hottest boy in school. Well, everyone knows my boyfriend, Deuce, is the hottest guy at Monster High. Oh, yeah, of course. Deuce is awesome for you. But this guy? Oh, hideable. <laughs> Here he comes. Is my makeup all right? You look fine. Like you need some help. Leave it to Cleo. I'm gonna make your first meeting really memorable. Knock him dead. Thanks, Cleo. You're the best. And don't you forget it. Yeah, dude. See you on the other side. Oh. Whoa. Ah! You look... You look horrible. <sighs> I like that in a girl. Oculus is really hard. I'm thinking about going to the library to study later. Yes, the library is a wonderful place to study and to enter knowledge into your brain. I, I'm, I mean, if you have one. That's it? You've been oogling the guy for almost an hour and that's all you've got? Come on, dude. Gil's practically a swimsuit model. Sure, not like he'd ever talk to me. Sweetie, I think he just did. You have the prettiest eyes. <laughs> I have to find my calculus book. I just want to crawl into a puddle and pull it over the top of me. Is this the book you're looking for? Meet me at the fountain at 3 o'clock. Cleo, you killed him out there. I know. I guess that didn't bite. <laughs> you're up. Don't be surprised if they don't clap. I'm a tough act to follow. <laughs> I'm a natural. <laughs> Good luck. You are so gonna need it. That spotlight, it looks just like the moon. Oh, that was wild! 
Did they ask you for an encore? <laughs> it's picture day. You must look your best if you want to be immortalized. You look ghoulish enough. You could be voted Scream Queen of Monster High. Aren't we supposed to use Study Howl to study? Code Blue! Coach Igor is covering Study Howl today. What's the big deal? He makes you ditch the books and run laps all period. So? All that sweat totally ruins your makeup and fur. And clothes. And bandages. Picture day. Duh. He's here. Listen up. You won't be hitting the books while I'm here. Instead, you'll be getting ready to... <gasps> Come with me if you want to live. Come on, Frankie. <laughs> All we have to do is stay out of sight until next period. <laughs> Howl to get ready for your yearbook photos. Hey, look, a regular scream queen. Today's lesson: die section. <gasps> Do our hearts not beat the same? Does not the same green blood flow through our veins? This is so wrong. Frankie, I need an assist. You got it, Laguna. Always happy to lend a hand. Dismissed. Nice save! Where are they? I found a place where they can chill. Oh, oh no! Either Claudine used to sail at Transylvania's secret, or she forgot to study it. I couldn't! My brother ate all my notes! Yeah, right. Don't even try and tell us you weren't watching America's Top Monster. Busted. But it was the final power pose off. It was beyond my control. Seriously, guys, what am I gonna do? Well, why don't you sit next to Gulia? Are you saying I should cheat? <laughs> she is the smartest girl in school. <laughs> I know what I would do. All right, class. Hands it ready and begin. One minute left. Me who got voted off America's top monster. I really should have studied. <laughs> I've been rehearsing all night. I was born to play this role. There's only room for one leading lady, and that's going to be me. That part is mine. Mine. Bring it. Send them in. Hello. We're starting. Um, <clears throat> uh, please have your monologues ready. <laughs> Next. Next. Break a leg. Break them both. Oh, my young beautiful rose. Alas, I am a Oh, my young beautiful rose. Alas, I born 
I am but a thorn. My love is strong. Yet beautiful in your glory. Don't you remember what Shakespeare said? The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven. It is twice blessed. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. <laughs> skittering on those eye coffins and not watching out. Yikes, I see your point. Uh, hmm. Thanks, Mr. Ware. Hello? Hello? What? I can't hear you. Um, we seem to have a bad connection. Oh, oh. I'm going to have to call you back. Something's funny with my phone. <laughs> Oh, I'm a new, my favorite. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know how this happened. I'm oh, so sorry. Oh. Okay, that's new. Uh oh. Take cover. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> First, my own polarity. You're the best, Golia. Thank goodness my ghoul friends have got my back. A little help. Hello. Hey, Slomo. Did you try the new sugar eyeballs from the vending machine? Mm hmm. <gasps> Am I blemished? Yes, you are. Who should I email this photo to? Might as well send it to everyone. No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> office. 
this now. A 2,000 year old statue was smashed. What happened? It was an act. Here's the honest Terrell's truth. I command you to stop. There is no telling what precious school property you might destroy. Ah! Oh, no! And that is how Frankie alone smashed the that statue. Is such, I mean, the facts of that story are in such disarray, headmistress. For 2,000 years, that statue has imprisoned one of Monster High's first instructors. Smashing the statue freed her. <laughs> Professor Irene Maiden has been freed. <laughs> Frankie, on behalf of the entire student body, thank you. Wait, I helped. into clean green fuel. Wow! It must be Gulia's. Gulia's. Wrong! Mine. This, uh, whatever Mahiki will make me the queen of the mad science fair. The throne will be mine. Um, Cleo, that's not a throne. Cha! I think I know what a throne looks like. The effects of water on toilet paper. Oh, Gulia, how can you let Cleo rip you off? You've got to stand up for yourself. Yeah, you're not Cleo's servant, right? It's an injustice. you got to take action. <laughs> Cleo is heading for a fall. Thank you. Yes, my project is superior. The throne is mine! Um, Cleo, that's not a throne. It's me science project. A rehydration chamber. Say goodbye to dry skin. Not funny. I hope she's wearing her freaky and fabulous all-day waterproof mascara. Because this could go on all day. Confluence that only happens every thousand years. It's both Friday the 13th and also the 31st of October. That's not possible. Weird, huh? Today is the worst bad luck day ever. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Jinx! <gasps> A perfect storm of bad luck. At least until three o'clock. When the bell rings, it's over. Six more hours. No worries, ghoul friends. I possess the amulet of Nuck and Nutton that will protect the wearer, me, and anyone who is with me. Bad luck and all. If you're wearing it, where is it? It doesn't go with my outfit, so Guya here is carrying it for me. Oh, no! There she is! Draculaura, you plug in the projector. Laguna, turn up the sound. I'll handle the whoopers. Don't forget the popcorn. Oh, the tissues. Uh, can I help? No, no, don't lift a finger. Just enjoy the movie. Uh, hey, guys. Um, I do know a little about electricity, and, um, it looks like you're about to overload. Ah! How are we going to watch the movie? Yeah, I was totally sparking at the bolts to see it. Mm. 
what? Contact! Uh, how's the movie? Mm, awesome! You are gonna love it! This makes one thousand and one. Booyah found this old book that tells about vampires, and guess what? Come on, I already know the facts of vampire life. It says that you can turn into a bat. Hey, I've never seen you do that. Well, I, uh, it says that you'll be able to change when you're old enough. Oh, I'm old enough. I do it all the time. Show us! What? Now? Uh, okay, but, um, I, I need some privacy. I'll be up in the belfry, you know, where the bats are. Smooches, I've never transformed in my life. Think like a bat. Think like a bat. I'm a bat. Now! No use. I'll never change. <gasps> Draculaura? She did it! My little brother bit my leg, but that's not gonna stop me. I'm totally running, and I'm gonna win. She will not win. I was running unopposed in the Scream Queen election. I think a little campaign gossip will ensure that I get all the votes. Claudine, outstanding in a field, got a major case of carnivorous fleas and is out of the running. Save your vote. And so no one knows I started it. Ah, ha. Don't tell anyone. I know, just the gossip ghoul to deliver the message. Send! Oh my! This is huge! I gotta tell everyone! Wait, I can't. I shouldn't! I want to, but I can't! Maybe just Frankie. She's not just anyone. So cute! Send! It doesn't make much sense. Send to anyone. Well, okay. Voltage! My bad, texting and walking. <laughs> Send to all. Thanks to the best viral text campaign in Monster High history, the winner of Scream Queen is Claudine Wolf. What? How could this happen? Everybody voted for her. How to choose? Claudine. Outstanding in her field. We'll have a school carnival free if you vote. Wow! Can you believe it, Cleo? I wasn't even running! Brothers, so two centuries ago. Justin Fighter, delicious. <laughs> he burns. Ignore. Hey, ladies, check me. I'm on fire today. Conceited man. Get over yourself, hey. You're not that fast, teeth. I got more hustle in one claw than you got in your whole body. Oh, my ears are burning. Don't you know girls are too delicate for track? No competition. You did not just say that to me, to Day. I could totally burn past you on the track. Bring it, Sparky. First one around the track twice wins. Loser cleans the pit of horror. It's on. Here, hold my purse and my books, my earrings, laptop, phone, makeup bag, all my bracelets. Hey, Claude, aren't you going to stay and see me flame past your little sister? Oh, bro, I can't watch this. You had to choose today. <laughs> I'll come by every afternoon to laugh at you. Hit it, ghouls. Bet you didn't realize it was a full moon tonight. Oh! <laughs> Me and my ghouls will come and visit you every afternoon <laughs> to laugh at you. Oh, blame retardants. <laughs> According to my horoscope, I'm going to meet the perfect guy today. Handsome, chiseled, solid, and dependable. Ooh, it says he'll be the first monster.
laughter that you gaze when your eyes leave this page. <laughs> That's the guy. How do I look? Amazing. Gorgeous. You always do. I know, right? <laughs> it's a curse. Where'd he go? Pat, it says if I don't meet him before the end of school, it won't come true. Two minutes until the final bell. Ghouls, stop him. All over it. <laughs> he went this way. <laughs> Sphinx! Heading for the boys' locker. We'll lose him. Frankie, redirect. I'm going to work on plan B. I'm on it. <laughs> I've got this. Boogies. Did you get him? That was worth a go. Okay, okay, I'm coming. If he steps outside the school, then we're too late. What's plan B? You are. Yeah, and then I said, come on, not even ghosts wear white after Slaver Day. <laughs> As if. But the lady said they only have it in white. Oh, my horoscope was totally right. You are the perfect guy. Such a good listener. Ooh, be positive. Awesome. Not. I deserve better. I studied all night. Mr. Rudder never gives A's. There's nothing you can do wrong. It belonged to Pharaoh. Not a lot in common. It gives me the power of persuasion. Should you be messing around with that, Cleo? Didn't your dad say that all those ancient idols are cursed? I've got this. Mr. Rudder, I totally did the work to perfection. Why didn't I get an A? I don't give A's. But I deserve an A+. You deserve an A+. Plus. Gotta be a downside. Seems fishy. Might commit to bite you. Oh, please. I got this. No, way too crowded. Oh, we'll be late for class. Wanna bet? I could learn to love this power. Tonight's homework? Have fun. Neil's been working that idol like a credit card with no limit. Yeah, but what happens when the bill comes? A flawless day. You ghouls fussed about nothing. There is no curse of the idol. I told you I got it. What the? What? What's wrong? You don't got it. <laughs> To survive this test, you have to keep your egg babies from breaking for one week. Any cracks, you fail. <laughs> oh, I love eggs. Give it, Flame Boy. First, I'm going to revamp you total makeover. Easiest assignment ever. Deuce, do your thing. Excellent. That'll wear off in a week, right? Yep. Maybe you should switch partners. Why would you say that? Everyone knows sea monsters are bad parents. Not true. That's an old fisherman's tale. Seven days, no cracks, or you fail. He's just been anti-phibian. Well, we'll show him. We'll be the most fantastic parents ever. <laughs> Top of the library. Oh, ours is the only one that hatched. I need my great parents. Julio, he must like you. He invited you to eat lunch with him and his buddies. Don't be shy. I know that you and Slow Mo will have plenty to moan about. Okay? Then we'll go together. If you're not the only girl, you won't be as nervous. Frankie's got your back. Come on. <laughs> Zombies. <laughs> they just need something to break the ice. I don't know about breaking ice. Melt a few hearts. <laughs> I don't feel the heat. Uh, do aim that elsewhere. You and I could make a good match. Uh, Golia, I have to go check my face. 
I know I'm supposed to be there for you. Sometimes Heath is just a little charring for me. Uh huh? You think that'll work? Thanks for switching seats, Heath. The light over there really brings out the red in your eyes. Hey, not cool! <laughs> hey, check it out. I'm gonna get some villagers. Whoa, you're funny. <laughs> Slumber party. You must be freaking out. All just harmless fun. Until we play truth or scare, then we find out what kind of monster you really are. <laughs> mm, slumber party, slumber party. I know there's. Aha! Truth or scare. Learn your friend's deepest secrets. Oh no, Cleo's been dying to find out which boy I'm crushing on. What am I gonna do? What do we do first? We could... Truth or scare? Yeah. I'm in. Unless you don't want me to find out. Oh, hey, I know. Time for makeovers. It's time for... A bite. Enough stalling. Time for truth or scare, Frankie's first. What'll it be? Truth or scare? Uh, um... Scare? I scare you to send a text message to the boys. Party at my house? Spread the word. <laughs> I don't think that's such a good idea. Fine, truth. Who do you have a crush on? I'll do it. Now. You sure? Okay. Send. No way. I can't believe you really did it. Oh, your parents will freak when all those boys show up at your house. My house? Cleo, it was your phone. Oh, that's the truth. Oh, no. Well, what'd you get on your essay? The teacher said he needed to see my parents to talk about it. What? No. A parent-creature conference? Take the mages to swim here. You do not call a parent-creature conference with good news. Really? You must have totally failed. You might have to repeat the class. Oh, this is terrible. I'm in no hope, poor thing. No, what can we do? <gasps> hey, I've got an idea. All he really needs to see is a family member, right? So, let's give him one. Not me. We're all in that class. He'll recognize us. So who? Okay, Slomo, remember, you're Laguna's great aunt Lantis. Yeah, and you have two seahorses named Roger and Blinky, and you live down under. Under? You're Australian, so moan with an accent. Ready? <laughs> Slow-mo dressed like a sand groper. Parent creature conference? Ah? Uh, uh, well, now you don't have to wait to find out how bad it is. What? I know you were trying to help, but if I was failing before, then I'm sure gonna get expelled now. You must be so proud of Laguna. She's my best student. Best essay ever. Didn't see that coming. Oh. You see? Told you it was good news. <laughs> One more time, from the top. We're just too perfect. Only the top three teams get to attend the prestigious Gloom Beach fear-leading camp during spring break. And then it's on to the finals of the Monster Nationals. Nothing... Frankie, or should I say... Weak Link. Well, see, I popped before I locked when I should have locked before I popped, and then you got Stop. popped. If you ever want to get off fear-leading probation, you need to go and pull yourself together. Guya, get me something to drink, okay? Uh, the rest of you keep working. Give me that one, you take this one. Makes me face look blue. Well, your face is blue. Hey, Frankie, how's fear practice? Oh, uh, great. Sure it is. Yeah, I'm sure Cleo isn't demanding at all. Or overbearing. Or pushy. Or arrogant. Or nagging. Okay, but it's only because she wants the best out of us, and it's good to have goals. You know, d -Lo. It's Draculaura. Your shoulder, it's on fire. <gasps> You pretend you're not carrying a torch for me. Just watch. You're going with me to the Spirit Rally dance. <laughs> Why'd you pinch me? Because you are dreaming if you think I'm going with you. Let's get out of here before you get owned anymore. He is so annoying. But he's kind of growing on me. Ew! Now somebody better pinch me. That was dreadful. <sighs> are you kidding? That routine was amazing. Amazing isn't good enough. It has got to be flawless to get to Gloom Beach. 
You're right, as usual. I want to show you a new routine we've been working on. Give me a W, give me an E, give me a Q, U, I, T. We quit, we quit, we quit. What is this? Some kind of lame joke? Oh, it's no joke. Your reign over us has come to an end. We're going to star in the school's big production of West Side Gory. That's what all the cool kitties are doing. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck at nationals. <laughs> Why are you still here? I'm so new. Nobody takes me seriously except you. And that's why I take fear leading seriously. So, I'm not going anywhere. Ugh, what took you so long? Uh. Hey, I guess since I'm the only one left, you gotta take me off probation, right? Fine, you're promoted to the team. Unpromoted. Come on, Guya, you've got to get to work on some flyers. We're recruiting some new blood. Tryouts tomorrow morning. Every ghoul in school is going to be dying for a spot on my squad, so we need to make sure we have enough applications. 3,000 should be okay for now. Are you getting all this? And no one is to look directly at me, unless it's an amazement. Prepare to do my bidding. <gasps> well, I don't understand. <clears throat> Maybe I have been too hard on them. I thought I needed to be a strong ruler, a tough leader. But I guess I was wrong. Next time, things will be different, if there even is a <laughs> next time. <laughs> Idea! I can go recruit people, rebuild the squad for Cleo. Uh. I know. People think she's a total perfectionist, but that was the old Cleo. You saw her. She's changed. Uh. This squad is my legacy. My everything. Join the fear leading team? Only every spot open. Uh. Yeah. Hey, Laguna. Sorry, love, but I'm on the swim team. I made captain. Can't wait to hear you cheer me on. Change your mind about going to the dance with me yet? No. Now? No. Now? No. Now? No. Now? Yes. Okay, fine. What else? Oh, scorching. Did you just say yes to Heath Burns? He wore me down. I'm not proud. Who do you want to go with? I don't know. Someone special. Kind. Athletic. Someone like... Hey, how's it going? Hey, Claude. Someone like... Claude! Claude Wolf? No! Get real, he's Claudine's brother! So? So? I've known him since before he was housebroken. But you like him, right? I don't not like him, but there's a lot to deal with right now. We're friends, and that's how he'll always see me. Not if you join the fear leading squad. Really? Totally! He'll see you as a part of the team. Okay, but Cleo... Changed. Okay, I'm in! <laughs> <laughs> Help, Cleo. Sorry, sister. I'm putting my paw down. I guess it's just me, Dracula, and Cleo then. That'd look ridiculous. Wow. My whole social life over before it ever began. Wait. If there's one thing a wolf is, it's loyal. Buddy, you're the best! Cleo's mellow now, right? I knew I'd get my team back. And to think I was gonna mellow out. Wait. What? First things first. Practice every day. Nights, weekends, eight day weeks. You told them that, right? Well, that never really... Wonderful. <laughs> we start at 6 a.m. <laughs> One more time from the top. <laughs> you guys are an embarrassment to the art of fear leading. You are going to cheer at every school event between now and the game. Though they're beneath me, they're just right for you. Two, four, six, eight. One more move, it's checkmate. One and two and two and three, your queen's in total jeopardy.
complex question strikes at the very heart of the world of the postmodern monster. Monster High rebuttal. Your analysis is weak. Your rebuttal is weak. Seven seconds left. Monster High debaters just can't be beat. Win, win, win. Get through the round. Yeah. You heard the Gloom Beach judges are coming to check us out tonight? All right. Someone's trying to get your attention. He burns. Ignore. I really wish Claude would look over here. Oh, I bet if we build an austacular pyramid with you on top, he'd totally notice you. Guys, I don't think you're ready for it. Hey, woohoo! Blood sausages! Get them while they're still beating! Awesome! You should have seen your face. Pam, total ownage. I think some kids have already posted the video of it on FrightTube. How could I have agreed to go to the Scream Team rally with a jerk like you? So don't. I'll take you. I told Heath I'd go with him. Hey, Burns, cool if she goes with me instead? Uh, yeah, of, of course, Claude. I mean, whatever. It's settled then. Pick you up at six. <sighs> okay. So... You're going to the dance with my brother, huh? Hmm. What's up, Cleo? You okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm embarrassed and humiliated. My reputation as Fear Captain is totally tarnished. I don't see how things could get any worse. We'll be in touch, signed. Scary Murphy, Gloom Beach! <laughs> Sis, what's gotten into you? Flea problem? Like you don't know? Why are you taking Draculaura to the dance? Because Heath was being Heath. Okay, Claude, sit, stay. This is obedience class. I've got my friends over here and my family way back over there. That's the way I like it. So you stay in your yard. Got it? She is one of my best friends. So if you do anything, Anything to hurt her feelings, I'm gonna be in your grill like a hamburger. Understood? Whoa, slow your growl, sis. Sure, she's a cool ghoul, but I've known Dracula since I was a pup. We're just going as friends, promise. Gloom Beach Fear Camp, we'll be in touch. Big day today, huh, Cleo? Big day? Why? What have you heard? Um, nothing? I'm just totally sparking for our big cheer. Oh, yeah, right. Big chair. Hey. I know we haven't been our best lately, but we are going to bring it tonight. You'll see. Aren't you going to put on your uniform? Of course. I, I was just about to. That's the way. That's the spirit. Why just talk when you can cheer it? The rally is tonight. Aren't you totally charged up? Yes, of course. Tonight is a very big night. You bet your fangs it is. And we've got to be on point for Cleo. Okay, go get changed. Go, go, go! Get changed! <laughs> Sup? Can I ask you something, ghoul to ghoul? Why are you going to the dance with my brother? Did I do something to you? Oh, no. It's not weird, is it? I, I hope it's not weird. I didn't mean to... It's not weird. Just as long as you're going as friends. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, totes. Just friends, bloodies. <laughs> hey, is that a new collar? Look, Fab. Just friends. Oh, too much drama. I can't let this go on any longer. 
Tonight, I will tell Claude how I feel. Hey, don't you have a cheer to be getting ready for? What's the point? If we don't get into Gloom Beach Fear Camp, none of this matters. Oh, come on. You won't know till you know, you know? So stop worrying about it. Try to have some fun. Check this out. <laughs> They're raising money for the football team. It's a good cause. Adorable. Hey, it's Cleo. Gulia. Any messages? Attention, student body of Monster High. The Spirit Rally will now commence. Oh, we're about to go on. Where's Cleo? It's not like her to miss a big cheer. I know. She's testing us. Duh. Blue Beach Fear Camp is right around the corner, and she wants to know that we can think on our feet, be ready for anything they throw at us. So come on, let's show her we've got what it takes. And now, captain of the swim team, Laguna! The basketball team, Captain Long Wolf! <laughs> to notice us. That's her way of telling us we're bored. Let's kick it up a notch. Hey, girls. Don't worry about that little spill. You're getting a lot better. I'm sure you'll make a big splash at Gloom Beach Fear Camp. Thanks, Laguna. <laughs> Are you gonna dance with Bill? He's smiling at you. Really? I wish things weren't so complicated. Friends can totally dance together. I mean, look at Dracula and Claude. I guess it is weird. You know, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Really? Me too. You go. Well, we've like known each other for a long time, right? And, I mean, you're friends with Claudine, and I don't want this to be all weird. But, ever since you joined the squad... I think I know where this is going. You and I... Yes. ...are becoming really good friends. Of course I'll be your girlfriend. Oh, good friends. Yeah, total best. I gotta go. Here we come. Invitation denied. All together now? <laughs> so, how's my brother? I don't know. You don't know? Nope. Guys, we got a problem. Leo's locker was wide open when I got here. That's weird. That's not the crazy part. Look at this. <gasps> he left her lipstick in her locker. She would not be caught in a sarcophagus without lipstick on. You go to find her. I bet she's in the gym or getting a smoothie. <laughs> Wait, I know where to look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's worse than I thought. I never thought I'd see Cleo like this. Crying? No. Cleaning. What's wrong with I'll you? I'll tell you what's wrong with me, weak link. Or should I say weak links? Uh -huh. You cost me an invitation to Gloom Beach Fear Leading Camp. We didn't get in? You have failed me. She's right. Except for Frankie, none of us gave it our best. I'm sorry, Cleo. We let you down. Guys, what are you doing? Um, it's over. We can still get into Gloom Beach. What are you talking about? Every year, Gloom Beach selects one fear squad as a wild card pick. Wild card? Any squad can get one million hits on Fright Tube. They get an automatic invitation. And you know this how? I can know stuff. It's on their website. We still got a shot. Gulia can make a video of us doing awesome cheers and bullicious stunts and pyramids. That's a great idea. Except for two little things. Like one, the deadline is in two days, and there's no way we could get a million hits by then. And two, we stink. Well, I'm not giving up. Squad, attention! It's going.
going to take dedication. Check. It won't be easy. Like that? I'll be yelling more than usual. What's new? Fear Squad! Impossible. We got a hit yesterday, and there's six of us. Oh, I haven't watched it yet. What? I got busy. You think these pores just shrink themselves? I can't believe this. Oh, Kills, I'm so sorry. Come on, ghouls. We can't give up yet. The website says the deadline was three o'clock. It's over. It's not over. Look, you guys picked me up when I thought it was hopeless. And now, as your beloved and way beautiful leader, I'm going to do the same. <gasps> now, Gulia, I'm being inspiring. In my Freakonomics class, they taught us about marketing, how things get hot. There are things we can do to make this video go viral. Trust me, ghouls. Students of Monster High, your fear squad needs your help. Watch our video! Tell your friends! Well, that didn't work. <gasps> Not now, Guya. Frankie, do your thing. Gotcha! <laughs> That's only 15 more views. At this rate, we'll get a million hits in about a million years. Aww, I'll be too old to go to Gloom Beach by then. Nothing is working, Cleo. What are we gonna do? We're running out of time. I'm thinking. Oh, oh, uh, got it. We wait until the night of the full moon, and then I will, uh, uh, mm, got it. <sighs> what would get people to notice this video <laughs> and send <laughs> Oh my god, what is it already? <laughs> you can do that? Put our video on the homepage of Boo Too? Uh, Are you yeah. serious? Every time somebody clicks on the video, it'll give the viewer the choice to send it to everyone in their address book? That's amazing! Gulia, that's total genius. Why didn't you say anything before? <laughs> Girls can get into the Green Beach Fear Leading competition if they get a million hits on Fright Tube, and they're way close. But they gotta get it by three o'clock. Oh, I thought it was something I cared about. Why isn't it working? This is a tragedy. What's not working? What? Down in front, I can't see. Okay, hang on. It says here that the site shut down. What? So nobody can watch it now? Yeah. One minute to go. Go, 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 go. go, go. Coming through. What did I miss? Ghouls, 
I want you to know how royally proud of you I am. You're gonna make me cry. I'm serious. The way you came together as a squad to try to make this happen. Well, you guys have got more spirit than any ghouls I have ever met. And that's what Fear Squad is all about. I'm not crying. As if... Cleo, Cleo, check it! It's all over the Monster News Now site. Fright Tube crashed because of all the traffic to a single video. Your video! No way! I knew you could! Oh, whoa. What does this mean? Did we get in? Huh? I can't look. What's it say? Monster High Fear Squad, you are hereby invited to attend Gloom Beach Fear Camp! <laughs> Congratulations to the Monster High Fear Squad, who have just been invited to Gloom Beach Fear Camp. Wait a minute. enough? Is there a suitcase limit? Congrats, girls. I'm so happy for you. Aw, uh, you are so nice. We're totally pumped. Oh, I wish you could come with us. What are you talking about, love? I go to Gloom Beach every spring break. Me dad says they got the best underwater camping this side of the Barrier Reef. This is so awesome. Everybody together. We're gonna have the time of our lives. Okay, on three, everybody. of flats, nine boots, eight sandals. Is that all for today? Yes. Fashionable and functional. And now, look alive. The Gloom Beach bus has arrived! Ooh. Aren't you guys super pumped? Pumps. Oh, I know I forgot something. I do hope you save some room in there for your fear leading uniforms. Oh, wow, too tight. Gloom Beach is about more than fear leading. Yeah, the North Beach is totally amazing. There's a big lake, fun games, all of it. Too bad we'll be spending all of our time on the South Beach at the Fear Leading Academy. All our time. Every year, the prestigious Gloom Beach Fear Leading Academy awards the spirit staff to the best team. And every year, that team has gone on to win nationals. Coincidence? Hardly. We must have that stick. Apparently, Monster High used to win the spirit staff all the time. Back when we were... Good. G'day, girls. I'm stoked about spring break at Gloom Beach. Can't wait to hit the water. Back in your natural elements, huh? No, I'm salt water, mate. Gill is fresh water, but you better believe I can still hold my own. How about a little song? Oh, I'm just warming up. <laughs> It's my dream, right? Frankie, it's my ankle. You're going to have to lead the team. Me? You can do it. We all believe in you, Captain. <laughs> he can't breathe. He needs water. Now that I've got this spirit staff, nothing can stop me. <laughs> oh, Cleo, wake up! We're here! Ladies, welcome to Gloom Beach. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Refreshing. A ghoul could get used to this. Finally, we're all getting the recognition and respect that I truly deserve. Mr. Hack, bring our bags around front. Your cabin is in a slightly different location. Wild cards. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. 
It is a dump. You said it, Ghoul. It's not exactly the four screaming. Why do we have to stay here when all the other teams are in luxury bungalows? Scary Murphy is a fair leading legend. She must have her reasons. So you keep saying. Scary Murphy. So, you're the wild card team. Not much to look at, are you, Buttercup? Oh, so we were just on a quiet now. This won't cut it. Your posture, dreadful. Your attitude, awful. Hustle up, lady. Move, move, move! As the wild card team, got a lot to prove, Turtle Dove. What do we learn first? Advanced pyramid? Intricate dance routines? I've got something a little different in mind for you. I can't believe we have to prepare lunch for all the other teams. I'm sure Scary Murphy knows what she's doing. Now we gotta mold a lawn? This lady's getting on my last nerve. Scary Murphy's the ultimate fear-leading guru. If she says, cut the grass, you just say, hello. It. Nothing to do but sit and daydream. Bye. I can't believe we wasted a whole day doing stupid chores for Scary Murphy. What did any of that stuff have to do with fear leading? I don't know, ghouls, but I believe in Scary Murphy. Yeah, score! <laughs> Not bad for a seawater gal. Thanks, mate. You're not bad yourself. You're a freshwater bloke. I told the other girls I believe Scary Murphy has a plan, but I'm not so sure. Torlai, what are you doing here? Bloom Beach is where all the cool cats and kittens come for spring break. South Beach is for fear-leading squads only. No quitters allowed. Oh, don't get your bandages in a walk. We just came by to tell you congrats for making it to Gloom Beach. Oh. Thanks. And that's why we're willing to come back. What? Now that your fear squad is hot again, we want to be back on the team. I see how bad you want that spirit staff. And we're your best chance to get it. You're right, Torlai. I do need you. <laughs> Told you. To shine my spirit staff after I win it. What? <laughs> I wouldn't take you back if you were the last conniving kitty on Earth. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to my team. You just made some powerful enemies. Better watch your back. <laughs> Hard work. If I dust anymore, my arm's gonna fall off. <laughs> Mine already did. Scary Murphy is playing us. None of the other teams are doing this stuff. Bats! Those girls are from Smug's North Vampire Academy. <laughs> they all think they're so hot. Why? Because they're, like, tall? Maybe because they've won nationals four years in a row? They're our biggest competition. Do they store a mean pot of soup, too? Chill, ladies. Guya and I have been working on something ultra hot. It better be, because those smog snort snobs will do anything to win. Anything! But it wasn't all work. We were able to get in some much-needed R&R at the beach while Cleo and Guya worked out our routine. <laughs> Gil! When I help me vlog some drongos at Monster Polo? Uh, I can't. Come on now, Freshy. One game? It's such a good team. Uh, that was not a good time. Well, when? I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Come on now, mate. You can tell me anything. Well, I can't tell you this, okay? I don't want to hurt your feelings. The beach was so much fun, but we had work to do. With Cleo's creativity and Julia's eye for advanced physics, they came up with the perfect routine for us. That looks complex. <laughs> That's right, Julia. It's been scientifically designed to win. All we have to do is learn it. Hey, pets. How's it going? What do you want? We just wanted to wish you luck before your big cheer. Anything else? Mm. Is that your routine? Yeah, it's amazing. This is an A-B practice, so see you later, traders. Let's get started. Oh, I'm gonna 
film it on my eye coffin so my parents can see. We start with a double jive hand wheel, then put Spring into a triple back layout. Everything was going great. Hi, it's Frankie, me, <laughs> your daughter. Okay, I'm totally confident in our routine. As you just saw, we're gonna blow smog snorts out of the water. Oh, hang on a sec. Frankie, I just wanted to say that even though I'm not part of the team anymore, I really do want you to win. That's so nice of you. Oh, I was just finishing my video letter to my folks. I was gonna email it, but there's no Wi-Fi here. Oh, well, you know, I can mail it for you. Just give me the thumb drive. Thanks, you're the best. Gotta run, Mom and Dad. See you soon. Wish us luck. <laughs> Want to watch the Monster High routine again? Thought so. Oh, you're welcome, by the way. I'm so relaxed, I can hardly stay awake. <sighs> Don't get too calm. We've got the biggest cheer of our lives tonight. I want you ready. Chillax, fearless leader, with the routine you and Gulia came up with, we can't be beat. No thanks to Scary Murphy and her dumb chores. She has a plan. You just have to believe. Gil, you've been avoiding me all week. What's caught in your neck? My parents don't want me hanging out with you. What do you mean? Because your people are from the sea. So? I'm from freshwater. It's forbidden. You don't believe that cod swallop, do you? No, but my parents do, and they won't allow me to be around you. I'm sorry, Laguna. Just picked up the mail. Can you put mine on the bed, please? I'm still getting ready. Me too. Me three. Frankie, Draculaura. Oh, why would Draculaura be getting a letter from my brother? Just friends, huh? Oh, smog, smog let's go size up the competition. Yeah, let's see what a second place routine looks like. <laughs> Aren't those your moves? That's right. Your routine, scientifically designed to win in the hands of the enemy. I wonder how that happened. My video <sighs> told you to watch your back. Monster High wants the spirit staff. Yes, you do. But we stole your routine. Boo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Good luck. You'll need it. It's over. After all my hard work. Our. Hard work. What are we gonna do? We can improvise. We just have to remember our Gloom Beach training. All we learned was a bunch of useless chores. Oh, Scary Murphy is a genius. Just follow my lead. Yo, I hope you know what you're doing. Just believe. Potato. That's why I was so hard on you. I wanted to bring out your best. Thank you, Ms. Murphy. Congratulations to Monster High, winners of this year's Spirit Staff. I can't believe it. Best day ever. My adoring public, louder ghouls, I can barely hear you singing my praises. Jealous? Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Don't mind if I do. You got some real nerve showing your whiskers around us after what you did. Is that any way to talk to the new editor of the Monster High Fear Book? You're the new editor? And I thought you knew everything. Everybody reads the Fear Book. And you might say that I have a significant influence on how everyone sees you. Forever. So, how about a quick shot? Fine. Get this over with. A little to the left. Perfect. Smile. The captain should be up front. <laughs> Must have been a quick downpour. <laughs> Why didn't I know that Torlai is running the fear Did you get the text? Text? I'm the one who sends the texts. 
You're probably just out of the loop because fear leading took up so much time. Out of the loop? I am the loop. Frankie, have I become socially irrelevant? Oh, why am I even asking you? Everyone's wearing boas, Cleo. <laughs> this can't be happening. Hey, Dee. Uh, didn't see you there. My name is Draculaura. Dee is a letter, and apparently you hate letters. What are you talking about? I wrote to you every day at Gloom Beach, and you never wrote back. Uh, hey, I totally wrote back. I don't even want to talk to you right now. I'm telling you the truth. I wrote you back. Uh, I know they're in here somewhere. Aha! One of these has the power to see into the future, to keep me on top of all trends. <laughs> Yes, Gulia, or unleash one of the several Egyptian plagues. But what are the odds of that? <laughs> Mighty Tone and Fierce and Mean, make me queen of the social scene! Oh, what is the meaning of this? <sighs> I give up. Laguna, wait. Gil, I get it. You can't be seen with a saltwater gal. It's not me, it's my parents. It's just it. You won't even stand up for yourself, mate. Laguna. <laughs> what are you doing out here, little fella? That settles it. There's nothing I can do to regain my rightful place atop the school social pyramid. If anyone did that, then they would be the talk of the school for sure. Me, I'm doing it. Me and my ghouls were all over it. Really? That's so brave of you, Cleo. Because no one's ever spent the night at Monster High on Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th? I just sent the text telling everyone you're doing it. Uh, I could send another one and tell them you're too afraid. We're not afraid of anything. That's the spirit. <laughs> Friday the 13th. I can't believe Cleo was making us spend the night here. You want to spend the night here on Friday the 13th? <laughs> the school's charter states that I cannot stop you. You face a night of ghastly terror and unknowable horrors. No one's ever made it the whole night. Is that bad? Who knows? I'm not sticking around to find out. Nightmare terrible! <laughs> Thanks again for staying with me, cool friends. Toral, I was just trying to make us all look bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Friday the 13th is the anniversary of something horrible. They say that once the sun sets, a creature is awoken. He lurks about the halls of Monster High, prowling for victims. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> oh, that's ghastly. Ladies, it's clearly just a rumor. <sighs> we should split up, throw him off our train. Meet you in the Crepateria. Okay, or better? No! You're supposed to be my best friend! Why would you do that? Can we talk about this when our lives aren't in danger? Oh, sure. Real convenient. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Shh. <sighs> <sighs> what does it want? <sighs> He's not howling at us. He's crying. <sighs> Careful. What's the matter, big guy? <sighs> The 13th isn't the anniversary of something horrible. It's his birthday. Oh, he's just lonely. <laughs> but this hair, who's your stylist? <laughs> We've got to get you a makeover. <laughs> no way those scaredy cats made it the whole night. Hey, Torlai. Best night ever. Miss us. But how? <laughs> that is more than my 
royal sensibilities can possibly bear. Cleo? <laughs> we were just talking about how ultra lame Cleo and the Fear Squad are. Hey, those are my mates you're knocking. Well, maybe you should get better mates then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you mean mates like you? Hey, girls. Claudine. How's things with you and Draculaura? She ain't talking to me. Neither is Claude. How's the sitch with Gil? Oh, better now. But it's so complicated, you know? I heard that. Cleo, how's Deuce? I swear, that boy drives me crazy sometimes. <laughs> I heard that! <laughs> Frankie, please. You wouldn't understand. You're too young. It says in my teen screen magazine that mature girls like to talk about relationships. If you aren't in one, you may be left out. What do you mean? I, I totally understand. Really? Of course I have a boyfriend. You do? Where is he? Who is he? What's his name? We want to meet him. Um, well, you can't meet him now. Why not? He didn't come to school today, but he'll be better by tomorrow. You can meet him then. We look forward to meeting your boyfriend. Totally. Okay, well, um, I, I better go call and check on him. Gonna get a boyfriend by tomorrow was to make one. No prob. My dad did it all the time. How hard could it be? Well, I guess you'll have to do. Hey, man. That's awesome you and Laguna are cool again. I just feel terrible that I lied about my parents being okay with us hanging out. If she finds out, she's gonna be way upset. I know. Jealous much? <laughs> <laughs> what? Dance right here? <laughs> so romantic. Aren't you going to introduce us? Sorry. <laughs> this is, um, Hoodoo. <laughs> He's been just dying to meet you. <laughs> oh, what's that? <gasps> Two tickets to Justin Bider? Oh, you are the best, Hoodoo. Have you been reading those lame teen magazines again? Maybe. You don't have to have a boyfriend to fit in with us. I don't? No. You're fun and interesting and awesome all by yourself. That is a relief. I mean, I see all the drama you guys are dealing with. I know that I am just not ready for boys yet. Even ones I made myself. You're breaking up with me after all we've been through? Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they make such a cute couple. Not in the mood. If my brother and my best friend were embarrassing me in front of the whole school, I'd be in a bad mood too. You know as well as I do, they don't belong together. It's just not right. They're just too different. Draculaura must really be crushing on Claude if she's actually eating lunch with him. I don't follow. She's a total hardcore vegetarian. She gets a woozy even at the sight of meat. I bet Claude doesn't even know she's a vegetarian. Oh, Frankie, you've given me the best idea. Cool. <laughs> Uh-oh. And boom, game over. That was amazing. Claude, you know you have a big game tonight. What you need is a big, fat steak. <laughs> Dracula, what are you all staring at? Frankie, get me out of here. Dracula! You're just going to chase after her now? Of course. Not one of us, Claude. She sees a tiny piece of meat and she faints? You knew that would happen, didn't you? And you did it anyway. I hope you're proud of yourself. It's a monster high tradition to prank the graduating seniors in two weeks. We could use somebody like you. <laughs> you seem to have a natural talent for treachery. What are you going, Normie? Uh, Normie in a monster school. Just transferred in. My cousin, Jackson. Your cousin's a Normie? It's a long story. Well, we can't just stonewall your cousin like that. Monster High is about being cool to everyone, no matter who or what you are, even if what means Normie. Hey, Jackson, got a spot over here for you. Draculaura? I never should have done that to you. I don't even know why I was mad. I told myself that you were too different. But now I know it wasn't about you at all. It was about me being scared of losing my best 
friend. Can you ever forgive me? That was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Um, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Of course I forgive you, silly. Our friendship is more important than me seeing Claude. It's a little weird for me, but I'll get over it. Besides, you're the only girl I know who's good enough for my brother. Go kill! Going for snacks. You guys want anything? I'll take a hamburger and a hot dog and... Oh, yeah. Nah, I'm cool. Go, Laguna! This will be a perfect shot for the fear bug. <laughs> Next. Did she call me? <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't speak zombie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leo will sign your fear book now. Hey, I just got my fear book. Wanna check it out? We look amazing. Maybe later, huh? We gotta cramp for our biteology fine. I can recite all the elements in reverse order. Wanna hear? Wow, um, I'm really late for that thing over there. Hey, congrats. There's some gnarly shots of you two in the fear book. How great is that? Awesome. Looks like our stars have arrived. I did a whole spread on just you and Gil. Everybody needs to know what a great team you are. And now they will. Signing all those fear books was hard work. The price of fame. Mm. Mr. Rotter, you make dead languages live again. Well, I did learn them in the original. <laughs> Least the nine. If you're planning on using those for some sort of graduation prank, I strongly suggest you reconsider. No idea how those got here. You better keep your eye on that fear-leading team, Mr. Rotter. This one's my favorite. Gil, which one do you like best? I don't know. They're all... Terrible. I know. She should have used a fish eye lens. Not that. I need to tell you something. Okay. I never told my parents about us. You lied to me? How could you? You know how they feel about saltwater folk. They threatened to send me to an underwater boarding school if I kept hanging out with you. I had no choice. I'm gonna be late for the big test. Laguna, wait. Pencils down. Pass your exams to the front. How did you do? Nailed it like a coffin, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Rotten gargoyle eggs? Is the fear-leading team planning something I should know about? No, sir! I don't know where these came from. So you say. I think I know how to fix this. You're gonna tell your folks about us? No, I just won't show them the fear book. They don't need to know. Either you agree with them or you don't. And if you don't, then you need to do something about it instead of acting like a frightened dingo. I don't even know who you are anymore. I just need Gil and Laguna, and then I've got everybody's signature. Hey, you dropped this. Wait, this isn't mine. What is it? Recipe for stink bombs. Weird. What happens if I tell them and they send me away? Then I'd lose you forever. Don't do it for me. Do it for you. You can't let their prejudice run your life. Sign my fear book? Oh, uh, sure. This is the first year they're putting a copy online, too. What? Yeah, they're emailing it to everybody's parents. Isn't that cool? I think it is. What do you think, teammate? Oh. <laughs> Torlai is behind all of this? <sighs> it makes perfect sense. That fraudulent feline's trying to set us up. When your parents see that pic of you and Laguna in the fear book, then you're gonna blow up! I gotta call them and explain that it was all a big misunderstanding. Hey, Mom, I need to explain something to you and Dad. <sighs> Laguna, wait. You've always taught me that saltwater people weren't as good as us freshwater people. You said that they were untrustworthy, uneducated, that they smelled terrible. Hey! But above all that, that they were dishonest. Well, now I know that you were wrong. I have a, um, friend, and she's the most honest, decent, amazing monster I know. She's from the sea. What did they say? They don't feel the same way, but I've never felt better. So, hey, um, see you at swim practice, pal? Yeah, see you there. Mate. 
we know it was you. Don't try to deny it. The most perfectly epic clan ever. Of course it was me. <sighs> That's right, Kuya. The balloons will fall at the end of graduation, and one of them contains a spoiled gargoyle egg, releasing an ectoplasmic stink bomb. And Mr. Rotter is going to think it was us! Exactly. Then you'll be expelled. But why? Because with you gone, the fear squad is ours for the taking. We'll rule the school. <laughs> You just admitted your plan to us. How dumb is that? It's too late. Graduation already started. Come on, let's go. They'll never make it. Lantern, Jack, Roll, Pile, Old E. I'll never find the right one in time. This is the perfect spot to watch the show. I can smell it. I know which one it is. It's there. Great, we know which one. How are we going to get up there? Why don't we do what we do best? I can't get high enough! Reaper! Grim! We gotta hurry, we're running out of time! Hey, Frankie, lend me a hand! We did it! Oh, yeah, on your computer when important things are happening. <sighs> 800 math credits each? Julia, you're a genius! <laughs> Three of our students have achieved the highest math scores in the history of Monster High. They are awarded full scholarships to attend the prestigious Trigula Calculometry Summer Camp, effective immediately. I wonder who those three uber nerds are. <laughs> So fast. Oh, we gonna get to see each other at all over the summer? I'm sure my parents are mad now. They'll come around. I hope you're right, Rishi. <laughs> <laughs> Salty. The worst part about school ending? Realizing your brother left his old gym socks in your locker? Gross. No, missing out on all the juicy gossip. Which is why I signed up for auto updates on the ghostly gossip. What's that? Only like the foremost authority on the Monster High social scene. If it's happening, she blogs about it. Who is she? Nobody knows. She's like a mystery dipped in secret sauce. Oh, can Gil and Laguna survive the summer? <laughs> Drama! Come on, Manny. Can't you give me a break? Sure, Normie. What do you want me to break? Your glasses or your arms? Against the rules, the bully. Who are you calling a bull? Did I just walk into the monster preschool? No. Then why are you acting like such a child? What would your sister Minnie think of this behavior? You're not gonna tell her, are you? Leave him alone. Thanks. Frankie, I know how hard it is being the new kid here. I'm like, you don't fit in. I fit in my lockers, trash cans. You'd be surprised what those guys fit me into. I'm, um, Jackson. Nice to meet you, um, Jackson. We can't let my dad find out that I broke my eye coffin. It's just one more thing he'll use to compare me to my older sister, Nephera. Thank raw she's out of the country, too. Uh, she once threw a huge party. She blamed it on me. And that's why I'm never allowed to have a big party at my place when my dad's out of town. Cleo's dad out of town. Big party at her place tonight. Big party at Cleo's house tonight? It's all over the school. Do you want to go to Cleo's party with me? Um, sure. I, I mean, I, I want to. You're nervous around monsters, but you'll be with me. Okay. Awesome! <laughs> I mean, cool. Whatevs. <laughs> Meet you there. Careful. How do we get in? Like this.
So far. He hasn't returned any of me texts or emails. His folks were pretty aggro about him being with me. It's the first day of vacation. Uh, he's probably just busy. Yeah, sure. Hey, Heath, have you seen your cousin? He was supposed to meet me here. You got stood up by Jackson? Awesome! Oh, eh, but don't feel too bad about it. What do you expect? He's ignoring me. Just go in there. You can do this. No, you can't. They won't belong. Nobody wants you there. Think he does? She's not dumping you, dude. She totally is. I eat like a pig. Typical wolf behavior. Of course, Dracula is gonna be too embarrassed to be with me. Yo, this ain't a party. <laughs> this is a party! Yeah! Let's do this. Your boy, hold hot on the squeals all stale. Yeah! Who, me? Yeah, you're the only one electric enough to save me! Oh, please. I know I'm an animal, but I can change. If you just give me another chance... I don't want you to change, silly. Then why'd you push me away? Because you are eating garlic. I'm a vampire. I can't be around you when you eat that. Now go brush your teeth and we'll dance. This party really got out of hand. Every monster who's any monster showed up. There's already dozens of pictures up on the ghostly gossip. Remember when his sister Nephila threw that bash and blamed it on Cleo? I'm worried about it getting into trouble. She was grounded for a month. Big shout out to Cleo for throwing the bash of the century. Even when I don't know about it, I still throw the best parties. Yeah, but if your dad finds out my father is out of town, he won't find out unless somebody tells him. And who would do that? That would be me. Never! What are you doing back? Don't worry your mediocre looking little head about that. You've got bigger things to worry about. Like how to keep me from telling dad about this party. Please! Don't tell him! I'll do anything you ask. <laughs> That's what I'm counting on. Prepare yourself, little sister. This is going to be the worst summer of your life. <laughs> Didn't you hear? Her parents won't let her go to Necrocon this year. Uh, wasn't today the last day? She was waiting all summer for this. Dead Fast is her favorite comic. She has every issue. Except one. The scarce and elusive Dead Fast issue zero. Only one copy is known to exist, and they were going to raffle it off today at Necrocon to one lucky monster. And her dream is to be that monster. But she can't go. I just wish there was something we could do. Mild-mannered high school student Gloria Yaps finds herself at the Necrocon, surrounded by her fellow nerds, uh, comic book lovers. Great galloping ghost! Is it? Can it be? Yes! It's a mint condition, dead pass, issue zero! The rarest comic book known to man or monster! Tis I, the Shadow Porcher. Behold, your precious comic book. Now, I shall destroy its value. Oh, the humanity! Can anyone stop the Shadow Poacher before it's too late? <laughs> by a radioactive hummingbird, mm, dead fast, once a normal zombie boy, has been granted the power of super speed. And now, those same powers have been transferred to his number one fan. Go get him, Coolia. Taking it out of its protective sleeve. And for my final act of disrespect, I shall leaf through its pristine pages. While drinking a sticky soda and eating cheese puffs. How did you get up here? Never matter. Have a nice trip. You've done it, Julia. You've defeated the evil shadow poacher. 
and restored the comet to its rightful place. Comic book lovers everywhere owe you a debt of gratitude. Leo, I can't believe you were able to get that for her. It's easy to win a raffle when you can make all 10,000 of your servants enter. That is so sweet of you, love. Well, she does so much for me. I thought I should do something nice for her. But don't tell anyone. It'll totally ruin my rep. <laughs> you know the only thing good about summer being over? Back to school, school shopping. shopping. Hide home goals. Show and tell time. Let's see what you got. Oh, cute earrings, ghoul. Burberry. Sweet bag. Is that the new box snakeups? Oh, the John Mall ghost DA. Blue, blue, blue. Gofana. Scalachi. Another. Here you go. Laguna, everything okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's just... Well, I haven't heard from Gil all summer. I'm worried about him, you know? Well, don't be worried. He's probably just busy. <gasps> wow! I bow to your superior shopping ability. As much as I love people bowing to me, none of this is for me. What? It's all for my sister, Never. I can't believe she's still blackmailing you for the party. Believe it. She makes me wait on her hand and foot. Your sister's so mean. My gorgeous, perfectly shaped ears are burning. I don't mind when people talk about me. It's when they stop talking about you that you have to worry. Well, well, well. Very nice. I want them. What? <laughs> I want all this. No way! Fine. Then I'll just tell my father about Cleo's huge party when he was out of town. He may only ground her for a year. You win. That's it. Here, according to your watch, I mean my watch, I'm going to be late for the salon. I'll be back. Miss me. I didn't think I've ever met someone as low down and despicable as Nephra. Just when you thought our day couldn't get any worse, Torelai and her girls are back. She's gonna be gunning for us. We've got bigger problems to deal with, like stopping my sister. Yeah, I got more shopping to do, but forget it. Nephra's just gonna take it anyways. Did you see that Nephra's back and down? She's always wearing the new trends weeks before anybody else. Let's go see what Nephra buys so we can steal her look. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Going on, <laughs> you all look ridiculous. These are the hottest trends of the season. They're in all the magazines. We're the first to wear them. They haven't even seen them here yet. But being a world famous model, you already knew that, didn't you, Nevera? Of course I knew that. I was merely um, testing you. Please don't take these from us. They can't be replaced. Hand them over. I can pull off this look. You guys, not so much. You're absolutely right. Now, I think I'll walk around the mall and bask in all the jealous looks I get. Ta -ta. Never is never going to be able to show her face in the mall again. Oh, my room! This is the best day of my life. Um, just when you thought this day couldn't get any better. You look hot. <laughs> For you, baby. My name not is Baby, it is Abby. Uh, I can't believe we're back at school already. I like starting school. All the mystery and excitement. I bet this year is going to be shocking. Why are these things so small? It's the same locker you had last year. Yes, but I have a whole year's worth of new clothes now. Plus makeup, shoes, color-coordinated handbags. Books. Full supplies. Yes, there's room. Need a hand? Ooh, so strong. What's from the ghostly gossip? New girl gives heat burns the cold shoulder. <laughs> I wonder who she is. Who has time for new girls? Right. <laughs> hey, I was a new girl. Oh, I'm dying to know who I have for Vitology. Has anyone seen Laguna? Uh, You're right, Guya. She's probably with Gil. They haven't seen each other all summer. I've taken the liberty of enrolling you in every advanced math class we offer. Uh, no. I know you're up to the gym. Hey, 
Hey, Torlai. How was your summer vacation? <laughs> oh, right. You didn't get one because you were at math camp the whole time. You're the ones who got me sent there by messing around with the test score. Serves you right. You were trying to get the fear leading team disbanded. Who says I'm done? Anyway. It's not like I learned anything at that stupid math camp. What's the square root of 568? 23.832. Hey! Laguna, what's wrong? It's Gil. His parents were so mad, they sent him away to another school. <gasps> Laguna! Hey, Jackson. Oh, hey, Frankie. Missed you at Cleo's party. Yeah, I was going to show up, but I uh, had to change. Hey, new girl. Our seats. I stay. Do you know who I am? Mean girl with sandpaper tongue. <gasps> Take your seats, everyone. Class books open to page one. Hey! <laughs> Claudine was right about new ghouls. <clears throat> you want game? I give you game. You two, principal's office, now! <laughs> I, I can't believe this. I've never been in trouble before. Aren't you worried? You threw Snowball at me first. Principal will bring Hammer down on you. <gasps> but I didn't. This is all a big misunderstanding. I understand perfectly. You want war with Abby? You get war. We simply cannot have this kind of behavior. Monster High stands for acceptance, understanding, and tolerance. To help you learn these qualities, you will spend the entire day together. What? Not possible. These magic bracelets will bond you together. You must stay less than three feet apart until three o'clock. You will spend every second together until then, and I think learn something valuable. And if more than three feet apart? The study howl of eternal homework. <laughs> oh, and fiery demons will descend upon both your homes, but mostly that study howl of eternal homework thing. <laughs> okay, being stuck with you is less than the ideal sitch, but I say we make the best of it. Just tell me, why did you start the snowball fight? I don't get it. I mean, I'll totally understand. I'm very understanding. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> this I don't get. This Frankie acts so nice. But then why she does these lies to me? It was you who was instigator. Well, I guess you don't want to tell me. We'll deal with that later. So, where are you from? Mountaintop, in Himalayas. Oh, cool. Which one? I think you would not know. Oh, okay. Um, I really like your necklace. This small talk is not necessary. People here talk too much about too little. Sometimes it's better to just close the mouth. Wow. Rude. But I am not rude. I am helping to save her breath. So confusing. Frankie does not like me already. We must get to class. You're right. I can't get another tardy or I'll be in Toad's trouble. Let's go. We'll make her like me more by showing most efficient route to class. Hey, wait! We have to stay together! Stop! I feel... It. I can't drink this. But that is how we drink it in the mountains. It's the best. I hoped she would love this. Hey, baby. Uh, I mean, Abby. Uh, I didn't introduce myself earlier. Burns. Keith Burns. Wow! Cold hands. Uh, but I know how to warm your heart. <laughs> Glacial facial. This heat. He is Hailstone that thinks it is Iceberg. Yeah, that's him. Uh, I guess. Yeah, you better run. Didn't I tell you I hate red? <laughs> Rules say no horseplay in hall. This includes the bull. Wow, you really saved my bolts right there. Do not mention it. Hey! <laughs> Such a creepy. Now is lunch. All my friends are in the creepateria. I can't let them see us together. Hey, Abby! In mountains, we begin new friendships over meal. 
Um, you know what? I usually just sit outside by myself. Hey, Frankie, over here. Oh, no. I will impress them with my keen observational skills. They are all very pretty. No, too obvious. Let's see. Your eyebrows, they are like mountain. You are short, like baby yeah. This outfit, I think you try much too hard. What time do these bracelet thingies come out? Three o'clock. Laguna's swim meet is at two o'clock, and she needs all the support she can get right now. You and your cold-blooded buddy should not come. I've been trying all day to be nice to you, and now you're rude to my friends? You hit me with a snowball for no reason. What did I ever do to you? I try so hard to make friends with them. Perhaps I am not meant to have friends yet. <laughs> Are you crying? I'm sad now. It's so surprising. Well, yes. You seem so cold. I didn't think you cared or, like, had any emotions. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> I have to go to restroom. You gotta stop doing that! <laughs> Did you see the new ghoul and Frankie trapped together? They didn't even realize it was me that threw the first snowball. Now we just have to get the rest of the fear squad. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, that would have been embarrassing. I got it. When Cleo and her ghouls go down to talk to Laguna after the swim race, we'll come from behind and push them into the pool. Total embarrassment. They'll be sorry they ever messed with me. Come on. Look, I'm sorry I thought you threw the snowball at me. I should have known it was Torali. That wasn't cool. So, will you come with me to warn my friends? No. What? Why not? Because I have better plan. No running. It's me. Wow, great race, Laguna. Thanks for coming, mates. Hey, where's Frankie? Oh, she couldn't come. She's all tied up. Ready? Wow, that was awesome. Thanks, Abby. I know to you, I seem harsh, but where I'm from, air is very thin. We cannot waste our breath with pleasantries. It is just our way. Looks like you are no longer stuck with me. We'll be going now. Hey, wait! We were gonna go to the mall and hang at the coffin beam. You wanna go with? This I would like very much. <laughs> <laughs> believe we missed that big party last night. We didn't miss anything. The ghostly gossip's got all the pics on her blog already. Hipster hot hide heats up another big time bash. That hide is way dreamy. Careful. That's Frankie's crush you're talking about. Ooh. Cut it out, you guys. He is not. <laughs> Speaking of Frankie crushes, Jackson. Frankie, you need to charge over there and shock some sense into him. He stood you up at Cleo's party. I don't know. Come on, Come on do it. Do it. Go. Hey, Heath. Hey, Jackson. Heath, can you give us a oh, minute? Why didn't you go to the party? Oh, I did go. I remember being outside, trying to get my courage up, and then... Oh, nothing. I must have been so nervous, I blacked out. All that loud music, and there's just so many people. Plus, you make me nervous. Me? Why would I make you nervous? I'm the one who gets nervous. Because I really like you, okay? Anyway... I'm I'm sorry if you had a lousy time. It's all good. The party was cool. There was a great DJ there. Maybe you've heard of him. Hold Hyde? Nah, I don't know. Hold Hyde is the awesomest! I got to carry his equipment last night, which I totally own, Dad. Thank you. So, hey, if you'd give me another chance, um, I'd love to take you out. There's a silent movie playing at the Revival House. That, that's a little more my speed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that sounds great. Great. I'll, I'll see you there at 7. Locals. We're just going to the movies. It's no big deal. Have your boat come loose? It's your first date. It's a huge deal. This is too big a deal for Frankie to do all by herself. Deuce and I will double with her. Claude and I will go too. It'll be a triple. Claudine, you have got to come too. I wouldn't miss it. Well, I guess you guys don't need me around to plan this. I'll just be going. This is so interesting. This is historically accurate. Monster normie relations were not good in the 14th century. You're so smart. Sorry all my friends tagged along. As long as I get to sit next to you, I don't care who else is around. Claude, wake up! Oh, man, it's not over yet. Great not. Boring. Come on, bring it. 
you know what this oldie but moldy needs? A banging soundtrack. <laughs> oh, oh, check oh. that out. Sorry, I, I didn't know they... Hey, you okay? No, uh, I'm sorry, Frankie. Uh. Jackson! <sighs> Can't believe I got stood up again. What do you expect from a Norman? Thought Jackson was different, I guess. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie! Oh, it's been too long. You miss me? Um, do you mind? I'm kind of on a date here. Yeah, with me. Wow! Love the music! Jackson, are you out here? Not cool! Oh, what happened? Oh, not again. Jackson! What is happening to me? Your sister never still harsh in your mellow? Totally. Ugh, I wish that party never happened. Ew, you smell like a wet dog. Explain. I know that you moved on. You're not making any sense. Punk, it's my fault. I get it. Well, I don't. I was just starting to like you. You. Trouble with one of your boyfriends? Frankie Stein dates two boys at the same time. Is there a third we don't know about? What? Three boys? As if. Ugh, if one of you didn't tell the ghostly gossip about this, then one of you is the ghostly gossip. <gasps> Hey, Gills, what's shaking? One of us is a traitor. <laughs> Don't look at me. Oh, please, no one loves gossip more than you. What about Claudine? She knew about your date with Jackson before anybody. Me? What about Cleo? That party was probably her idea. My phone was broken. It couldn't have been me. What about Frankie? You're crazy. Gulia, hack the ghostly gossip's blog. Find out who it is. Uh... You can't? Maybe because you're the ghostly gossip. I don't believe Leo. Leo. Look what she's doing to you. This needs to stop. What if we set a trap? We just need something that the real ghostly gossip can't resist. Something juicy. Our, Our diaries. diaries! Okay, everyone, put your diary in the middle and count down from ten. The diary that's untouched belongs to our traitor. Ten. Nine. Eight. <gasps> Look! <gasps> hey! <gasps> You've got some nerve. Who are you, anyway? My given name is Spectra Vondergeist. Why are you trying to ruin my life? I just got it, you know. Ruin your lives? Heavens, no. I'm actually a fan of all of you. You've got a weird way of showing it. I simply had to document you. Let others live through your exploits. You could have asked us first. I was too shy. But you're the ghostly gossip. You're famous. Sadly, I must remain a mystery. As such, I don't have any friends here. We'll be your friends, Spectra, and we'll keep your secret. But you have to promise you won't write any more stuff about us. Most of it wasn't even true. My apologies. Sometimes I only hear half of what you say, and it's up to my artistic side to fill in the blame. Yeah, I mean, come on, three boys. <laughs> I don't even have one. <laughs> Wait, so I'm not the third? Sorry. Unbelievable. Why does this keep happening to me? Oh, my chest. <laughs> I've been oh. looking for you. Uh, uh, what's up? I need to borrow your biteology book. I left mine. I don't have it. Can you just check? Yeah, but I'm just late for that thing. That I'm late for. Peace. What's gotten into Deuce? Have any of you noticed him acting strange lately? Deuce? Yes, it's probably nothing but earlier. Oh, hi, Deuce. So he was in the catacombs below the school with Operetta. That's slimy. That's just not Deuce. Do you need proof? His locker. He stopped me from looking in it, but he can't stop Spectra. What do you see? It appears to be some type of bouquet addressed to my pet. <gasps> that does it? Cleo, where are you going? To give Operetta a piece of my mind. I want everyone to know about this. Operetta is trying to steal my man. Do I even know you? Deo 
away from Deuce. Y'all are picking on the wrong fiddle. Whoever Deuce is, if he's going out with you, then I might could doubt I'd be interested. You think you can steal him because you're both rebels and into the same dumb music. Maybe you should look in the mirror. What is that supposed to mean? Y'all got a spider on your face. <gasps> and my music can whoop y'all's music. so humiliated. She really had no idea who Deuce was. What if this is a misunderstanding? We need to track her. And catch them together. <sighs> what is this place? It's the Monster High Catacombs. They built the school on top of it. Shh, quiet. <gasps> huh, Cleo, what are you doing down here? Surprised? We tracked you and your new girlfriend up Beretta down here, your pet? My what? Oh, no, 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 it's not what you think. It's kind of embarrassing, but this is, was, my pet, Smokey. He was the first thing I ever loved, first thing I ever ruined. Today is the anniversary. I was just a boy. I couldn't control my powers. And poor Smokey, he was just trying to play. It's supposed to wear off on the anniversary. I just don't know which one. The bouquet? Snapdragons, his favorite treat. I'm sorry if I was acting weird. I accept your apology. I was right. Maybe you should apologize to Operetta, too. I'd sooner set my hair on fire. And besides, I still don't trust that ghoul. Yo, Frankie! What do you want, Holt? I think we got off on the wrong foot. I know I came on a little strong. <laughs> a little? Look, I don't know what comes over me. I mean, sometimes I just feel like there's another person inside of me just, you know, trying to get out. Huh. Stupid, huh? Not at all. I, I totally understand. I think we all feel like that sometimes. <laughs> I always wanted an electric guitar. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tight nothing. I near about ran you over. I can be such a hayseed. Here you go. Thanks. What are you listening to? <gasps> Graveyard Smash. You've heard of them? They rock my little old face off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Frankie! Yo, yourself. So, hey, listen, Frank and Fine. I was thinking. You were, huh? I was thinking that I really like you, you know? And I thought maybe we could hang out sometime. Yeah, that might be nice. Really? Yeah! Girl likes me! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty crazy how much we have in common. I know, right? Are you doing anything later? Oh, oh! Hey, I mean, I would love to, but you seem like a totally great ghoul, but I'm with Cleo. <laughs> that can't be serious, right? Yeah, I think so. But you guys are nothing alike. Total opposites. I know. She just brings out the best in me, you know? Makes me want to be a better deuce. Oh. <sighs> so you really like her, huh? Totally. So much. And you told her how you feel? I got a hard time expressing my feelings and stuff. And when I try, I just fumble all over my words. I'm so the same way. The only way I can express my emotions is through my music. I wish I had something like that. Are you okay? I'm just so touched by your story. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna help you write a song that tells Cleo everything you've been wanting to tell her. Then you can give it to her, and she'll be as touched as I am. You really do that for me? Oh, it would be my honor. Come on. Hey, where are we going? Heading down to the catacombs. I put together a little old recording studio down there. Frank E. Fine, you ready to pop? Mix. 
Alex Holt made for me, and I guess I got carried away. You two are really getting along, huh? But he's really sweet once you get to know him. Sounds like someone has her first crush. But it's not a crush, and it's not my first. What about... Hey, Frankie. Hey, Jackson. <gasps> Jackson. I just heard that boys are fighting by the creepateria. So? They're fighting over Guya. Oh, so romantic. Go, no. Get him, This must be an incredible fight. <laughs> When do they start? This is it! Zombie fights are slow. <laughs> All because they were both crushing on Guya. What if this happens to Holt and Jackson? My fist plus your face equals epic win! One next to your map is wrong! Yeah! I gotta figure out what to do! Ha! So you like two boys, do you? And wanna know what to do about it? Talk to your friends. Wow, the Oracle's really lazy. Hey, Laguna! Um, I think I like two boys. Two? Wow, good for you. Some of us are lucky if we can find one, much less get his parents to accept us or even keep him in the same school. But two boys? Good on you, mate. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> okay. We still on for tomorrow night? Hey, Dracula. Just a sec. Actually, Claude, tomorrow we're supposed to go visit Grandma at the farm we sent her to last year. What about the next night? Brother's birthday. Tuesday. Other brother's obedience graduation. How many brothers do you have? Which litter? Hey, we're a big family. You want to date a wolf, it comes with the territory. Never mind. I'm beginning to think that the Oracle is really bad at her job. Cleo. Shh. I can't know we're here. All oh, right. Wait. Who? Them. Spectra tipped me off. I'm just waiting for the right time to strike. Now, what is it you need? You see, there are these two. <gasps> Did you see that? He gave her a thumbs up. That doesn't mean anything. That does. <laughs> Give me a hand, will you? You make my life complete. Our love is stronger than concrete. <gasps> Excuse me, Frankie. I have a boyfriend to destroy in a very public way. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I answer your question? You bet you did. Oracle, now I know what you were trying to tell me all along. Relationships are hard enough by themselves. Why do I want to make things even harder? I've got to make a choice. Jackson or Holt. I just gotta tell Jackson I can't see him anymore. Quick and easy. Look at Jackson, just standing there looking all cute. Maybe I should break up with Hyde instead. Got the double eggs! Who do you have more fun with? Electricity. You hit it right on the boat, Holt. All right, I've made up my mind. Don't do it! I get you! And I'm smart and kind! Kind of a dog! Hey! Come on, cut it out! This isn't helping. Oh, yeah! Stop it! You are going down! Stop messing around! Try to catch me! You two are tearing me apart. Frankie, wait! I just need a moment to think. By myself. Oh, yeah! Hey, Cleo. Can't talk right now. Why? Where are you going? To find Deuce and tell him it's over. Over? Crikey. Cleo! Cleo! Deuce. Oh, Cleo, I've been looking all over for you. How dare you embarrass me like that and with Operetta of all ghouls! What? Let me explain. There's nothing to explain. You made your choice, and may I just say it was a tacky one. Whoa, 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 Cleo, you're wrong. If you just listen for five seconds, Forget I... Forget it! I've wasted enough of my precious time with you. You fixed to get something done, Rod? Gotta do it yourself. this a song about me? Yeah. It's all the stuff I wanted to tell you, but just didn't know how. You wrote this? Yeah. Uh, with Operetta's help. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. This is what you guys were doing together? Surprise. Uh, I can't believe I ever doubted you. If I gave apologies, I would give you one right now. I'll take it. 
You should sing my song at the school assembly on Friday. Then everyone can hear you and, of course, be reminded of my wonderfulness. Oh, uh, no, I don't sing live, ever. My voice kind of does stuff to people. It's only safe to listen to on a recording. I've got to go play this song for all my ghouls. They'll be so jealous. Yeah, I don't understand. I'm not sure I do either. So you like both of us. Uh, um... Frankie, check out what my super amazing boyfriend did. <laughs> How can you like both of us? I liked you first, but you bailed on me so many times, and Holt was always around. We're two completely different guys. Music. Oh, no. Jackson, what's happening? <laughs> Is everybody looking at? Oh, wait, that'd have been me! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. Are you okay? Whoa, what happened? Jackson, I have something pretty big to tell you. Okay, tell me what's going on. Maybe I better let you tell you. Hide? What does that guy want to tell me? So, I guess if I'm watching this, that means I'm not me anymore. I'm you. What? Just keep watching. Apparently, we are the same dude, dude. Whoa. So, Hyde and I are the same person? Yeah, afraid so. So, every time I wake up in some dark alley alone and confused, it's all because of him. I have so much to say to that guy, and I can't even confront him about it because... Because he's me. Hey, you can tell that stuff to me, and then I can tell Hope. Well, you tell him that it makes me sick that we're the same person. He's everything I'm against. Loud, obnoxious, crude, rude, conceited. Rude, crude, conceited. Conceited? Oh! oh. How does he think I feel? I just found out that I'm half normie and half. Door. Frankie doesn't seem to mind. She likes smart guys. Like me. Frank and Fun? She likes cool guys. Uh, like me. She was only hanging out with you because I didn't show up. And we all know whose fault that is. She was gonna break up with you. She was gonna break up with you. Frankie! Frankie, Frankie we can't keep doing this. You have to decide between us. But it's so hard. I like both of you. How can you like both of us when we are such totally different dudes, yo? Wait, you're the same guy underneath. I think that's what made me like you both. She's right, yo. Yeah. So I can't pick one of you over the other. The stress has got me tearing my stitches out. So you're breaking up with us? Yes. Well, no. Don't think of it as breaking up. I'm just hitting pause. Until you two get your act together, there's no room for me. Oh. Seriously, you guys have to start communicating. I want you to start texting. And when you work it out, I'll still be here. Oh, it ain't right. OK. OK. Yeah, all right. Frankie, Principal Bloodgood has called an emergency meeting of the fear-leading squad. Come on. All right, boys. Remember, K-I-T. Are we in trouble? <laughs> Ghouls, it is a testament to your hard work, determination, and discipline that you have once again brought Monster High Fear Leading back into prominence. <gasps> and I want you to know that you have the full support of the administration as you prepare for Monster Mashinals. We will not let you fail. That is why I am bringing in a new coach. The most decorated fear captain in Monster High history, never a denial. <gasps> Meet the new queen, same as the old queen. Okay, ghouls, I'll let you chat with your new coach. Never is so good to have you back, as if from the dead. Nightmare! <laughs> I'll be in my office. <laughs> at Monster Mashinals, and I don't intend to start now. I'm going to whip you into shape starting today. Oh, my She has to have everything! It's always been that way since I was little. Why? Because she is made of pure evil, that's why. No, I mean, she's a big-time model in Europe. Why would she waste her time with a bunch of high school ghouls? Evil. <laughs> Not now, Goya. <sighs> Never denial.
Isabel kicked out of Fashion Week for her monstrous attitude. <sighs> Mephra's modeling career is an epic fail. Now she's never gonna leave us alone. I understand your concern, but this is for the good of the school. When I told the school board, they actually seemed lifelike. <laughs> but my sister is evil! I don't think you're helping. If you want to win, Monster Nationals, then do what Nephra says. I implore you. What's this? It's your new routine. What? We already got a routine. Getting to Nationals and winning it? are two totally different things. In case you've forgotten, I've won four of them. This choreography doesn't make any sense. Is it me, or does she totally not know what she's doing? I know, but we've got to try. That's absolutely dreadful. This isn't working at all. Now I have to change the routine. Roll! I have to change the routine again. If you keep changing it, we'll never learn it. No! Oh, I can't take your incompetence anymore! No! All right, everybody, line up. I may have made a tiny mistake. I thought I could come here and take you to victory at the Monster Nationals. I realize now that I can't. She's leaving! So... I'm afraid I have some bad news. I can't lead you anymore. She's gonna quit. Now everything will be back to normal. Yay! No, no, no. I can't lead you. So, I'm replacing the entire Fear Squad with new members and demoting you to the B team. Replacing us with who? With them. <laughs> The transition begins. Surrender your gear. You don't deserve them. Let's go! Let's let go! Enough! <laughs> Mia, good luck winning without my world-class routines. You're right. We can't do it without... The book. <laughs> We're giving up? We're not giving up. We were beaten. But think of everything we've been through together. Thinking about it just makes me sad. We're still a team. We can still compete. I let you down. All of you. I'm a <gasps> failure. <laughs> well, it's going to take more than some thread and a jolt of electricity to bring this back to life. <laughs> never give up. Never, never, never gonna. Oh, I remember this was a good cheer. The school needs us. We need us. And I need some help. We'll totally help. Hey, guys. I was just thinking, you're right. I mean, it's just silly old fear leading. I've never lost before. It's the new fear leading team. <laughs> I know. I had the worst practice of my life. The new fear leading team is going to cost us a title. Ugh. Too bad there's nothing we can do. I see what you're doing. If Draculaura is willing to give it another shot, then I will. Claude needs me! I'll take that as a yes. Now, we just need to meet at the trophy case. I'll text Clea. Okay, what's the emergency? Look, remember this one? Never give up. I was there. This is about more than fear leading. It's about us. Listen to our own cheers. Anything about surrendering? No! We can be great together, but Cleo, we need a leader. I failed you. Failed to live up to my legacy as captain. But you didn't fail. You won the spirit staff. Another reminder of my failure. Cleo Denial, the only captain to win the spirit staff and never even make it to nationals. I don't ever want to see this cursed thing again. No! You couldn't just press the button. You had to throw it on the ground. I'm sorry. I failed again. We give up. The only thing that disappoints me, Cleo, is that you're giving up. Look at them. They need you. Never give up. Never, never, never gonna. But we're a second-class team. As you were at Gloom Beach. But you found a way to win that. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Look, you have everything you need to win. Each other. I'll help you, if you're up for it. Yes? Oh, thank you, thank you, Miss Murphy. And thank you, Frankie Stein. Now, let's reclaim what is ours! Yes! 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 Yes!
must start practice right away. Varsity Fear Squad practice only. No B team allowed. There are plenty of places to practice at school. It's a text from Nephra. I've made it against the rules for you to practice on school grounds. If we can't train, we can't win. There's the place where I practice my music. It ain't technically on school grounds. More like underground. The catacombs. Oh, Alpharetta, you rock! <laughs> is your moment. Don't worry about the competition. Worry about yourselves. Guya, you may want to change. <laughs> what? She knows all the moves. Now flip! Again! You must push yourselves to the very limit. Why I'm still working with you. Because you are amazing! <laughs> You're ready for nationals! We've trained for this. We're ready. It's our destiny. Look! All our friends came to support us! Let's go, Monster High! Get ready to cheer your bleeding hearts out! The winner will be Monster Nationals Champion! It won't happen again. I brought back up. You wouldn't dare break a paw off their Monster High B team. Yeah, oh, yeah thanks. thanks. A lot. You'll be lucky if that's all they break. Hey, Nephora, we don't need what's in the bag. We can beat them on our own. Only a denial can beat a denial. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, are you okay? It's over. Nephra's taken every single idol, amulet, and charm from my father's house. She has enough spells in that bag to ruin a thousand performances. I should have known she'd never play fair. Forget your sister. You just go out there and do your best. But Nephra's spells... We'll worry about those. You just worry about winning this thing. Really? You guys would do that? For you all, sure. Whatever. Rock! Here's what we gotta do. Claude, you're on point. Abby, over here. Cute. Let's see them deal with this. Monster High! So, 
technically, this award is mine. My best championship! More, more than anyone ever! Yay, me! <laughs> cheating! There is no place for cheating and fear leading. Never a denial. You are hereby stripped of all your previous trophies. and math. Ghouls, we've got a problem. Gulia doesn't know how to relax and have fun. <laughs> New mission. Help Gulia have fun whether she likes it or not. <laughs> Step one, complete. Appropriate beach attire. <laughs> no, 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 no. Those aren't the scarabs we talked about. Oh, just get it done. Oh, Guya, having fun yet? <laughs> Guya, you've got boys watching. Let them see your pretty undead eyes. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Guya, wait. We're sorry. <laughs> we should have let you relax and have fun your way. Slow-mo and Dawn of the Dead play dodgeball? Uh-huh. <laughs> you. Romulus, you're with us. <laughs> I'll take Jackson. Yes, not last. <laughs> you are last, Normie. No way I'm gonna let a zombie be on my team. <sighs> what do you want? Why won't you let them play? Zombies are terrible at dodgeball. See? <laughs> Zombies should stick to what they're good at, attracting flies and going slowly from place to place. <laughs> you and the zombies versus us? You're on. Winner gets to be permanent team captain. And that will be me. <laughs> and I thought you were supposed to be smart. It's great that you're sticking up for your blokes, but if they win, no zombie will ever be chosen for dodgeball. What are you gonna do? <laughs> you zombies stink! <laughs> I'm turning up the air! Oh, blast! <laughs> you're a genius! Ready to lose, losers! Crash the burn! What are you waiting for? <laughs> you stink worse than I thought. I can't believe we lost to zombies. They're gonna be picking teams for the rest of high school. <laughs>
have never been to slumber party before. Ah, uh, slumber parties are the best. Sometimes we just need to stay up all night and catch up. And give each other makeovers. And do each other's toenails. And talk about toys! Aren't you forgetting gargoyles to gargoyles? What is this gargoyles to gargoyles? Leo's favorite party game. We play it every time we stay over. I happen to be undefeated. Three, four, five. Diabolical demon card. Ooh. Lose 500 points. You're out. I am? Yay! I mean, woo! I think I'm going to go into the bedroom and cry. <laughs> A mountain troll ruins your hair and makeup before school pictures. Claudine's out. Oh, well, I better go in the other room before I make a scene. You know, you still have one card that you can play. Right! I have a double trouble card, which means I can take any opponent out with me. And I choose Frankie. Oh, dang. I guess it's just you and me, Abby. Your move. Looks like you've stumbled into the fire pools of... Moment, please. I have royal reversal card. We trade places. You are now in pools of fire. What? How? I, I don't... Uh, can we call a quick timeout? This was good move, no? We love gargoyles to gargoyles, but Cleo is super competitive. A better move is to let Cleo win. What point of playing game if you just let her win? A cave orc trolls social network, lose a turn. A couture wizard curses your closet, go back five spaces. A wood nymph hex your phone, lose 1,000 points. It is over, you are out, I win. Oh my raw! Finally, a worthy competitor. We're playing this game all night. Oh, let's do this. I can't believe we get to go to Monte Scarlo. I hear that little old place is crawling with monsterazzi. I cannot wait to get there and just... Frankie Star, if you're sick, you may not attain the class tree. Don't worry, Mr. Rotter. There's no way I'm getting sick. Oh, man. Nobody get near her. If you catch what she's got, no Monte Scarlo. Sorry, Frankie. I can't risk missing. What are you so happy about? I'm thinking about all the fun I'm gonna have on the trip without you. The bus is leaving in 15 minutes. Must hurry. Drivers want to go. You better get back on the bus before you catch it, too. I laugh at this notion. Ha! Huh, I do not get sick. Monsters in my village very hearty. There's got to be some kind of cure. Goya, find anything yet? <laughs> Monster thistle? Oh, my dad told me it grows in the catacombs. We just need someone to go find it. I know this plant, but has one side effect. Just go! Oh, there is Monster Thistle! Finally! Jeez, please. Abby's not going to make it. Too bad, because I'm going to have a fantastic time. <laughs> You said you don't get sick. Allergic to monster thistle. That is side effect. The buses haven't left yet. Come on. No. Monkey Scarlo. Monster Watsy. Monster High. Big school, big problems. There's a thousand different stories in a place like this. That's where I come in. Name Spectra. I report the news. The truth is always out there. And I'm the slick sister that'll find it. I've been in this racket longer than I can remember. And I thought I'd seen it all. Until he walked into my life. I knew this flame fatale was trouble the minute I saw him. Hiya, handsome. Got a light? Name's Burns. He's Burns. I need your help, Spectra. I'm in a pickle jar and I can't eat my way out, see? What's the rumpus? You heard about the missing statue? Of course I heard. I'm getting flim flammed here, doll. What do you say? Will you take the case, prove me innocent? Bloodgood's gonna throw me out of school if you don't. Sure, kid. The evidence all pointed in one fire-hot direction. Information was tough to come by. It seemed there wasn't a monster at this school that hadn't been wronged by Heath Burns in some way or other. That's when it hit me. Go right to the top. 
I suppose you're wondering why you're all here. Yeah. 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 Yes, Spectra, you're playing us for a bunch of rubes. We all know Heath took the statue. His burn marks are all over it. Each and every person in this room had reason to frame the flame. Like you, Frankie. Isn't it true Heath burned your biology homework last week? How'd you feel? Mad. I swear, sometimes I could just... I see. And you, Torlai, didn't Heath splash water on you right before the school pictures? Claude and Deuce, how many times has Heath embarrassed you at the mall? And didn't you guys tell him that he was going to be sorry? But we didn't mean... Every one of these students had cause for framing Heath, so who did it? Hello? Statue cleaners. Oh, here it is. Blowtorches. Monday's fine. Everyone's free to go. Isn't that the way it always goes? Seems like the whole world wants to see a burn. And the next, you're free as a sparrow without a care. That's life in Monster High for you. The name's Spectra, and I report the news. Hey, Operetta. Hey there yourself, honeycomb. You're in a good mood. I just won me a contest to meet my favorite opera singer, Christian the Von Hammerstone. That's awesome. Sweet. And how are you planning on comporting yourself when you meet. Well, I reckon I'd just be myself. I just thought perhaps you wouldn't want to embarrass yourself. Embarrass myself? Crescenda von Hammerstone is a huge star. She's regal. Everything I am and you're not. Golly, I don't want to make a darn fool out of myself. I will help you become an elegant lady of refinement. <laughs> Smells delicious. Please demonstrate the proper way to eat this dish. Oh, that'll be plum easy. <laughs> First of all, it was a trick question. A lady never eats biscuits and gravy. Well, I love them. <laughs> trained you to be an elegant, sophisticated lady. Miss Von Hammerstone, it's an honor to... Uh... Call me Crescendo. Really? Oh, yeah, you ain't gotta put on no airs. Just be yourself. Hey, do I detect a bit of New Gaulians in that accent? Narlston. I got family up in Narlston. We probably know a mess of the same monsters. What? They like biscuits and gravy. Oh, my God. Your daddy was the phantom? Criminy. He was my first vocal coach. Ooh. Hey, Abby, are you ready for finals week? Oh, um, uh, are you okay? I'm fine, feeling top of world. It looks like you've been crying. Me never. I'm not sad. Must go late for class. Uh, Abby, wait. What's with her? <laughs> this is the time of year when all girls from Abby's village go through a challenge, the Himalayas. They survive off the land and pass various grueling physical and mental tests. Ha! And winner in your grills! This is the week, so that's why she's so sad. She couldn't go because of finals. Poor thing. Uh, oh, yeah, please. That'll never work. Will it? Yes! I'll talk to Bloodgood. Oh, what a great surprise for Abby. Hey, ghouls. Want help for study biology? Oh, sorry. We can't. Yeah, we have to go to the movies. The movies. Bye. Bye. Frankie, Draculaura. <laughs> She's here! What is going on? Ta-da! We talked to Bloodgood, and you can fang out in the freezer for the week! Guya set up a webcam so you won't miss any class. We know it's not quite the Himalayas, but... Oh, wait! <laughs> Abby, you know, it's okay to tell us when you're sad. We're your friends. Mm -hmm. Do you 
know how to arm wrestle? Yo, bro, what's going on? You know, digging. Romulus and I wanted to see if you wanted to catch the new scary rotter flick. Dude, I'm so there. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, uh, okay, Mom, I know. Sorry, guys, I can't go anywhere till I finish my chores. Stone Cold Bummer, man. Oh, uh-uh, no way. Oh, yes way. You need to learn to keep your paws off my stuff. You don't even wear that anymore. What did you think you could just borrow my dress without asking? Um, because I look cuter in it. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. You Wow, must be tough living with two sisters who fight like that. You know, wolves, bro, always trying to establish dominance. My sisters can turn anything into a competition. Romulus, you're a genius. Guys, give me a ticket. I'll be done with my chores in an hour tops. Hey, sis, you seen Halloween? Why, did you borrow something else I don't know about? No, I just wanted to get some tips. I mean, everyone knows she's the best at doing laundry. Please, she is not the best. She said she was. Oh, I'll show her. I mean, I'm not as good as Claudine. She'd have the whole yard done in two minutes. Huh, I can do it in one. That's what she said. Give me that. She thinks that? Just watch me. Hey, Claude around? My man. You ready to roll? Hey, Mom, I'm off to the movies. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All my chores are just about finished. See ya. Wait, he just... Oh! Claude, you are such a brother! I figured it out before you did. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, I did too. Oh, you in your dream? Give me you out On this episode of MH True Monster Stories, Toralai Strike. <laughs> Toralai Strike, one of the most infamous students at Monster High. This werecat's vengeance strikes fear in the hearts of even the toughest Monster High students. <laughs> makes this cantankerous kitty purr. To answer that, my friends, we must go back, all the way back to the beginning. Born the smallest of a litter of six, she had to fight for everything she got. The entire litter was adopted. Oh, Scarold, how adorable! All of them, except Torelai. Torelai learned quickly. She survived using only her wit, speed, and cunning. But time eventually catches up with everyone. <laughs> She wound up where a lot of kitties from the street did. The pound. Meow. It was here where she met her werecat sisters, Persephone and Meowlity. Together, they would rule this place with an iron paw. The key is to find out who runs things, and then show them who's boss. <laughs> might have stayed that way forever had a certain benevolent headmistress not stepped in. Ladies, I run a school called Monster High, a place where you can learn and grow. I think you belong there. <laughs> well, I'll take that as a yes. But as happy as Torelai was to be at Monster High, you can't teach an old cat new tricks. Okay, same rules apply. We find out who runs things, then we show them who's boss. After that, we ghouls will rule the school. So who is Torlai? My friends, we may never know for sure. This has been... M.H. True Monster Stories. Well, what do you think? Are you kidding? I love it! <laughs> ah! Gouya, we're going for smoothies during free period. Want to join us? Deuce is fine. I am? I mean, cha. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Oh, Emra, <laughs> you're not too busy. You're just sitting there on your computer like you do every day. Uh. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find us. Busy, please. Uh. Gulia, I don't know what to do. I need to get my hair done for the big superintendent's party tonight, but I'm swamped with paperwork. <laughs> Thank you, Gulia. I look fabulous. <laughs> yes, Nightmare, you're pretty too. 
is yours now. Crikey, it's freezing. I don't know how, but it's perfect. Spectra, where's the new ghostly gossip blog coming out? Sorry, the Wi-Fi is out. No word on when it's gonna be fixed. Spot. Yeah. It's not like the school is going to fall apart if you take a break, you know. <laughs> this necklace is scary gorgeous. <laughs> I know, isn't it great? Claude got it for me. Oh, can I try it on? Okay. Just be careful. Oh, yeah. oh no! It's in! Deep end. I am so sorry. I'll get it back. I promise. Oh, you don't understand. It's in the deep end. It's gone forever. Hush, hush. What's all this about the deep end? I dropped Draculaura's necklace down there, but but I'm gonna get it back. No one, no one goes in the deep end. Why is everybody acting so weird about the deep end? Uh, the deep end. <laughs> Frankie, the pool at Monster High is the deepest in the world. No one knows what lurks way down under there. Well, I'm going in. I caused this mess and I'm gonna fix it. You don't have to do this. I'll just tell Claude that... that... <laughs> I lost it! No, no, no. I'm gonna make this right. If you're going, I'm going with you. I don't get what all the fuss is about. The deep end is kind of nice. Look at this flower. It's not a flower. Sweet! <laughs> the necklace! Wait, he went in here. He's got a whole pile of stuff. Hey, you, give me that back. Frankie, it's not worth it. Hey! Don't you know not to mess with a monster with bolts? Now give me that necklace! Oh, thank you, thank you. By working together, we conquered our fears and did the whole school a favor. See? Oh, sweet. My T97X4 calculator. Aw, oh, I thought I'd never see you again, baby. Take a flyer. Vote for Glory. I won't let you go to waste. Hey, don't be a loser. Be a reuser. Sort compostable food stuff. Plastic, cans. We all win when you choose the right bin. It's too much trouble. Pete, be a good sport. Think and take a moment to sort. Recycling is so uncool. Recycling is what? It's so cool. Huh. One down. Only 6.7 billion to go. Hello, old friend. If there was only a way I could tell everyone how important this is to our survival. I don't know how to be hurt. I hear ah. you just fine, Venus. Can't you use your power of, you know... Power of pollen persuasion. Yes, to make the people learn. With my power, I can only influence one monster at a time. Our planet is in trouble. We need someone with influence. We need... <gasps> Cleo, you're the coolest ghoul in school. If you lead, they will follow. It's a talent, but I don't know. I can't be seen picking through trash. It's not trash, it's recyclables. To change the way people think, you'd have to make it cool, stylish. Sounds like a fashion show. Welcome to the first annual Monster High Recycled, completely renewable fashion show. From trash to fash, fools look cool while they save the planet. You can't do, so recycle, reuse, and renew. Let's hear it for the fools. I learned something. Who thought that could happen at school? We did great today. We sure did. <laughs> I was talking to you. 
I was so embarrassed. Detention. I didn't even know what I did. You guys, too? Yes, this time. You and your friends have detention. What did we do? One of you is responsible, and you will remain incarcerated until I get a confession. So, Miss Denial, you're hiding something. Confess. Fine. It was me. That stupid idol cursed my pizza. See? <laughs> That is not the crime I was talking about. Next. I did it. No way. So good. Go on. Oh, I just love these perfume samples. Sorry. That's not it. Next. Well, I only did it because Mr. Heck was going to dissect those poor innocent froggies. No. Next. Telling the truth, my brother did eat my homework. Oh, was it because I burned that book? No. Burned my locker? No. The bathroom, the theater, the pool? No, no, and no! Wait, how did you burn a pool full of water? <laughs> it was an accident. No! And then he was all like, you know, and I was all like, whatever, and he was like, for real? I have no idea what you're saying, but no. Someone is guilty. One of you took my glasses, and I demand to know who... Those glasses? Oh, um, yes. You're free to go. Finally. I knew we didn't About do anything. Time. Wait, my fountain pen. One of you... In your pocket. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no! Recipe guaranteed to reanimate your taste buds. Ta-da! Wow, 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 wow. wow, who knew that Frankie would take her home ick final so seriously? Yeah, it's like she totally became a different ghoul. Uh-uh, no nibbling till you're frosted. Oh, Frankie, but I'm so delicious. Some mugin hot. Do you believe in love at first sight? Or should I walk by again? Pete, you dropped your notebook. No, who dude? Slow down. <laughs> you're you're a voodoo doll, and you're holding somebody's stuff. If something happens to you, they feel the pain. Sorry. It's all good. That voodoo fist just gave me a catastrophically good idea. I just had to come over and talk to you. Oh, wow. You're perfectly awesome. I must be dreaming. I pinched myself, but I wouldn't feel it. Great. Let me just write down my number for you. Would you borrow her pen for me? Uh, okay. <laughs> of needles. 
feel sticking in me. Yeah, me too. There's something mighty fishy going on around here. Speaking of fishy, how weird is it? Torlai and Hoodoo are fanging out. Hoodoo borrowed my biology book and hasn't brought it back yet. Torlai! She's been using Hoodoo's voodoo power to torture us all day. Gills, I've got an idea. You want me to try out for the diving team? This is the best day ever. Torlai wanted you to hold on to a bracelet. She's so sweet. Do you know where Hoodoo is? Oh, no, no, haven't uh -uh. seen him. <laughs> oh, yeah! He's at diving practice for the next three hours. <laughs> What did Holt do now? It won't come off! Ugh! Hey, Frankie. Uh, what's everybody talking about? You don't know? What kind of monster would vandalize the school? How do you know it was a monster? Oh, you did this? No, Holt did. I just woke up with the evidence all over me. When Bloodgood finds out about this, she'll throw Holt out of school. And if she throws Holt out of school, she throws you out of school. She's probably looking for me right now. I just don't believe he would do something like this. I kind of caught him red-handed. There's no way Holt did this, and I'm going to help you prove it. Jackson, I need to speak with you. You better bolt. I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> I see you last night. I can't stand loud music! Ah! What was he doing? He was carrying paint out of the back of the school. Thanks for your help, Mr. Ogrethorpe! What's with the yelling? I've got very sensitive ears. I really can't believe he did it. Me either. Jackson Jekyll? I can still see you. We must speak about Holt. I know. He vandalized the school, so if you want to throw us out... Vandalized? I commissioned Holt to draw a mural here. But he didn't finish. I asked around, and apparently Mr. Ogrethorpe turned his music off. Oh! I knew it! So, Jackson, if you don't mind, I'd like Holt to get back to work. <laughs> Lesson. Behold, this paragon of scientific perfection. What a hunk of junk. <laughs> You're feasting your eyeballs on a device of astounding power. A machine so stupendous and amazing that... Mr. Hack, Mr. Hack, to the office. A dragon has started a fire. Right. Be back in exactly five minutes. Anybody touches the device... <laughs> The whole class gets detention. A device so powerful and amazing. <laughs> like Baby Yik must sniff everything. Keith, you're going to get us all in trouble. Relax. It doesn't even work. <laughs> I supposed to know that thing worked? In four minutes, Mr. Hack is gonna return. And when he sees us like this, he's gonna freak. There must be a reverse button on the machine. It's too far to jump. How do we get across? I got this. I told you. I'm on fire, baby. Holy smokes. Mayday. Mayday. One minute left. Be good, doggy, and help to squeeze. All right, Abby, come on! Okay, now all we have to do is pull the lever and pull the brake. <laughs> this is arachnidiculous! <gasps> Idea! One, two, three! Got it! That's it! Detention for the lot of you! Okay, who told? It wasn't me. Guys, who you thinks we're getting close? I still don't think we should be down here. Aren't you even curious to see your dad's old high school laboratory? They say it's been sealed up since he graduated. This skeleton key will get us in. 
I bet it's crawling with mysteries and danger. So don't touch anything. What's the worst that could happen? Hello, dude. What are you doing here? He was lonely, so I said he could come. No way. Oh, but... <laughs> What? Seriously? Somehow, everywhere you go, nothing but trouble. Give me a chance. I promise not to touch anything. Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's good. I'm cool. Aw, oh, come on, ghouls. It's the nice thing to do. Ugh, fine. But remember, don't touch anything. I know, I know. <laughs> Frankenstein's laboratory! This place is epic! Ooh, what's in here? He wandered from afar, clearly not touching it. I always thought Hack was brainless. I didn't know it was science fact. That's on me. My bad. <gasps> what a horrible beast did we unleash! What if it's dangerous? Yeah, dangerously cute. Oh, come here, sweetie. Hey, that tickles. Are you okay? This little guy loves me. Were you lonely? Huh? Who loves you? Whoa! <laughs> We're gonna be best buddies. See, I told you guys it was a good idea to bring him. <laughs> Ow! Hey, what's biting me? Dear diary, I am no good. I'm sure I talk funny and I'm probably ugly. I couldn't tell you because I can't see myself in a mirror. And the day started so nicely. Ghouls! Emily Ann of We Stop Hate is coming to visit Monster High! I love her blog! Yeah, yeah, she could be here any time! Emily Ann is high voltage. She said you should find friends who make you happy instead of spending it with ghouls you have to impress. I'm sure she'll want to interview someone with an impressive dose of tween esteem. I volunteer. Come on, Frankie, she'll be here soon. Cleo, little help. Is my lipstick straight? Seriously, I don't know why you even try. Emily Ann will want to talk to someone important. Me. I feel invisible. Hey. How could you possibly know how I feel? Uh. And I was mean to Guria. I don't know who I am anymore. Who do you want to be? Oh, hi. I'm just me. I'm Draculaura. And you are? <laughs> a friend. I heard Monster High is a fantastic place to come and just be yourself. Yeah, usually. But today, I don't know. Well, who are you most of the time? Oh, I like to organize parties so my friends can laugh and have fun. I take care of animals. I'm not always perfect. <laughs> exactly. Not always perfect. But you do have some ferocious passions. Remember them when you feel lost. They tell you who you are. Come on, everyone's waiting to meet Emily Ann. Where is Emily Ann? I'm right here. <gasps> Been here all day? Yes, I love Monster High. You've got some spooktacular ghouls here, like Draculara. Oh. Julia, I know you were just trying to tell me to love my freaky flaws. Well, I don't have any flaws. Really? They're what give us our individuality and make us perfectly imperfect, just the way we are. <laughs> oh, from Cleo. Big emergency. <laughs> oh, my God. Look! More bandages. Stat! Ow. Ow. Ah. Poor thing. It's who, dude? He's having a bad day. He's a voodoo doll. If he's having a bad day, everyone is. <laughs> Frankie, you made him. You have to fix him. What can I do? I'm not a <gasps> mind reader. Oh. Scare us screams. He's so sad. <laughs> ow. 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 It's doom. I like buttons. <laughs> Our only hope is to go inside. When Guria hits that button, we will all be transported into his breath. Totally empty. The mind is like a house. Each room serves a separate function. This area controls speech. The memory center. Earlier today. You, student 
disembodied president? You're not even a real dude, dude. Ah, he's right. I'll never be real. <laughs> uh, he, his problem is self-esteem. How do we fix that? This area controls emotions. Most important, love. We just have to connect him to himself. Did it work? I like you. Oh, thank you, Scara. I'm cured. I'm cured. Looks like our work here is done. I don't care what you say to me anymore, because I love myself. <laughs> Maybe we should go back in and make a few more tweaks. Oh, to the Cyrus! Party of the Millennium, tonight at my house! We need it. Everybody's been so stressed over finals. Oh, hold up a sec. Hey, ghoul. Big party at Cleo's tonight! Voltages! Hey, game on at Cleo's tonight! Aces! Evie! Party at Cleo's? Count me in. I was just gonna be so Get hold of Draculaura. She's been more stressed than any of us. Ghouls, we got a problem. Oh, it it's okay, honey. <laughs> It's not that bad. Look at me! I've got polka dot fever! <laughs> oh, you poor dear. It's caused by all the stress. And now I'm going to miss Cleo's party and then everybody is gonna have fun and I'm stuck here with gross dots on my face and they're all gonna laugh at me and nobody's gonna like me. And my life is over! <laughs> It's gonna be okay. If you can't come to the party, we are not having it, right? You good. That seems a bit drastic. No! Go on! Without me! Wait! My great-great-grandma Perry had had an amazing home remedy to cure polka dot fever. What? Wow. That's great! Okay. Gargoyle claw, troll whiskers, griffin beak, and... Did it work? In my village, we have centuries-old cure. <laughs> Got an idea. We couldn't get rid of your dots, so we made the party polka dot theme. You girls are the best friends any vampire ever had. My stress is gone. History of Monster Pie. If I don't get a scoop soon, I'm just gonna oh, live. There's gotta be one juicy piece of faucet floating around the school. Hey, Dad, what's up? Get out! I smell a scoop. You got tickets to see Justin Biter? She gets to take her best friend. Her choice to go with will reveal her BFF. Frankie's taking me to the Justin Biter concert. You clearly. Aren't you gonna put on your uniform? Of course, I, I was just about to. That's the way, that's the spirit. Why just talk when you can cheer it? <laughs> she was just being nice to you. I'm her BFF. <sighs> Chucky Laura! Get me out of here! Do you think it's rude if I wear headphones to the concert? You? Who are you calling a bow? Did I just walk into the monster preschool? No. Then why are you acting like such a child? What would your sister Minnie think of this behavior? You're not gonna tell her, are you? Leave him alone. Thanks. She was just being Frankie. Uh -huh. You're Frankie's best friend? Uh-huh. Julia, he must like you. He invited you to eat lunch with him and his bloodies. Mm. Don't be shy. We'll go together. Frankie's got your back. Guess he's going to the concert with Frankie. What? We better go settle this. Okay. Will you take this? Are you taking oh. I'm not taking my best friend to the concert. Oh. I'm taking my best friend. You're all going! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cheers! Then why did Spectra's blog say that you could only take one of us? That's a good question. In my rush to print a juicy story, I may or may not have missed a couple of key facts. I better make like a ghost and disappear. Bye-bye! Hey, Rebecca, what's the deal with all that old-timey junk? It is not junk. These are my school supplies. How are you gonna do your homework with that outdated stuff? Here, use my laptop. Or my tablet. Or, or my, my, my Listen, 
I prefer the old-fashioned way of doing things. But isn't it, like, way harder with that stuff? I find that it's much more rewarding. What? You all should try it. What is this crazy thing? It's cool, your science project. What does it do? Something to do with electromagnetic pulse or whatever. I'm not supposed to let anybody mess with it, especially you. <sighs> I hate this time of year. Everybody's got a school project due, and nobody's paying attention to me. Um, what? <sighs> I won't let anybody near it. Don't worry. Oh, my girl, tell me everything. And I mean everything. Don't... Tell me I can't mess with stuff. I mean, what am I going to do? Huh? <laughs> My computer doesn't work. My book report is doing my marine biology. I might be able to help. Is it dangerous? <laughs> I prefer carrier bags. Just as good as email. It will do everything your fancy calculator can do. Only more fun if you ask me. <laughs> Thanks for helping us, Rebecca. I hope I showed you that you don't have to be so dependent upon technology. Gotta check my messages. Guys? Hello? Where are you girls going? Every year, the Fear Squad works at the Coffin Bean for free. All the proceeds go to an awesome children's charity. I hold the record for the most money earned. Until today. Please. Oh, here we go. This will keep track of all the money we earn for charity. We want to get to here to beat last year. But we want to get here to beat Nefera's record. Oh, our first customers. I'll have a small sugar-free vanilla fangachino. Uh, let me have a monster triple espresso with extra chocolate sprinkles and two pumps of white chocolate and a uh, sprinkle more, please. We're already almost to last year's total. Nefera's record is going to be ancient history. Looks like your record is going to need bandages, Nefera. Doubt that. I like to call this Cleo's bad luck charm. <laughs> I don't suppose we broke Nefra's record. Mm -mm. We actually owe a bunch of money for damages. Talk about epic fail! <laughs> it's over. Wait, you're not giving up, are you? To beat her record, we'd need to serve close to 500 customers in an hour. I don't even know 500 monsters. Together, we do. <laughs> and then change my mind and pick something else to wear and of course change Claude's outfit then get upset that I have nothing to wear then at the last minute change my mind back to what I picked out first. <laughs> so, Abby, who are you taking to the dance? Not going. Nobody is. Cool. That to be kidding me is mystery. Boys find me cold. He's no big whoop. Hey, ladies. Abby, check it. A serious convo here, Heath. If guys knew how amazing and sweet Abby was, they would all have monster crushes on her. Ooh, I read in Monster Beat that the hot new Fang is speed dating. Where do you just meet a bunch of guys and spend like a minute with each one? Yeah, huh? And whoever you spark to, you can see them again. I'm not knowing about this hurry up dating. Under this modern exterior, I'm still sort of old fashioned cool. Come on! What have you got to lose? Ah! Oh, ghouls! Heath, quit messing around! This is serious. I'm not messing around. <laughs> Why you wink at me? Just met you. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I only have... Too fresh, mister. Next! So, hey, 
I uh, was uh, wondering if. Um... No, too timid. You are a sheep in wolf's clothing. Next. <laughs> Hey, hot stuff. Why don't you let me take you to the dance and I'll melt your heart. Hacha. <laughs> Wait. Getting down with my bad self. You like? Out of all those guys you met at speed dating, why did you decide to go to the dance with he? You make me laugh. That's it. Oh. <laughs> I'm Spectra Vondergeist, and this is a Monster High Historia. Werewolf and vampire high schools have been at each other's throats for a thousand years. It can be said that the war ended here. At Monster High, this is that story. We transferred to Monster High from an all-vampire school. It wasn't easy. <laughs> You smell. Maybe it's time to start using soap and water instead of just your tongues. <laughs> <laughs> we may have been a little rude. We werewolves weren't any better. This is our turf now. Got it? Vamposers. <laughs> Garlic totally gives vampires mega monster zits. It was so voltageously intense, the smallest thing could set off a major battle. Ew! It's a disease carrier! What? You heard me. This bathroom is now vampires only. Out! You can't do that! Did I see you growl at this vampire? Don't forget your place, or I'll make you remember. This ends today. Agree. We can't go on like this. Today, the gym, sundown. Bring your full strength. Winner gets the school. But at Monster High, what makes us unique brings us together. And by working together, we can conquer the real enemy, prejudice. I'm Spectra Vondergeist, and this has been a Monster High history. And in case you were wondering, vampire-werewolf relations have never been better. Claude, all I'm saying is that you could have called me at least once. I didn't have any cell reception in the woods. You could have howled. Like you do every time you watch Casket Ball when I'm trying to study. So now I howl too loud. You're cute when you're angry. <sighs> Hurry up, Guya. I've seen pyramids built faster than you pedal. You get all the hard to reach places. This is my toothbrush. Ew, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Bullseye. 
right. We totally smashed the interview. Once Bloodgood makes us official safety officers, we'll be the hottest dudes in school. You really think she's going to choose the likes of you? Like, duh, because we'll have the power to send you to the office for anything. The job is for keeping the hallways safe. Come on, dudes. Let's practice our cop walk. They care not for this school. Next. I am a gargoyle. It is in my very nature to be strong, dignified. Being safety officer is not all glitz and glamour, although this badge is very sparkly. <gasps> Headmistress, I am not one who wishes to do this for my own ego. I will not disappoint you. Monster High, my job to keep them safe, be it a matter of a simple traffic jam or dragons that have escaped from the catacombs. I am always vigilant. You know you are not supposed to use the cursed amulets in school. How am I supposed to pass biology? By studying? Uh, fine, I won't use it. Merci. We don't need a hall pass. You're our permanent hall pass. I cannot believe you would try to take advantage of me. It is very much against school rules to reanimate old monsters. Rochelle, can't you let it slide? Oh, please, be a be a I am sorry, my friends. Makers of trouble? Oh, it does not feel good. Maybe this job is not for me. Headmistress, I am sorry. Surprise! Congratulations! You survived my test. I had to know the school could count on you, even when your besties tempt you otherwise. Sorry, we only did it because we knew you would pass. So not only do you have the job, but I'm promoting you to the head of my new safety team. Deputy Burns, reporting for duty. <laughs> Question, who will protect the school from the safety team? Sasquatchy and Cadaver will be getting their new fall collection tomorrow morning. And my complex plan of action will make sure I'm... I, I mean, we are the most fashionable ghouls in school. Why can't we just get here super early and wait where that sign says? This is the sale of the century. Zombies are even camping out in the parking lot. Okay, now, Draculaura, you're here. Claudine, you start here. Which puts us at the front of the line precisely when the store opens. Got it? Uh... Yes, Not can really. we go home now? It is getting pretty late. Oh no, the mall's closed. We're locked in. Let's call Gulia and see if she can hack the system and open up the doors. No, we open those doors and we risk losing our spot in line. Wait, we spend the night and are first in line when they unlock the mall in the morning. Oh. Uh, mm. <gasps> Sorry, boys. Come on, girls. <sighs> where that sign says it does, right? Yeah, but... The line starts behind me! <laughs> Just give them a sign, Cleo. Never! The stores are about to open! Sorry, Slow-Mo. I have the sign, so I'm first. <laughs> He's getting a present for Gulia. The romantic... No! Me! I promised! Me! <laughs> is okay. Second? Me? That's it. This idol has the power of teleportation. All I have to do is touch you with it like this and... <laughs> Did you ghouls see Brain Dead Beach last night? I was howling. Cooties! Simon Clox has cooties! <gasps> We've got to get out of here! Even I know cooties aren't real. They're totally real. And if you catch them, nobody in school will go near you. You gotta touch somebody else to pass them off before you become an outcast. They're just a myth they use to scare kids. Cooties are real. Real scary. <laughs> cooties, get them off me. No, cooties! It's invisibility. It could be anywhere. I can't believe this. Traitor to your pack. No, no! Ah! Oh, man! A normie and I have cooties. Ah! Ah! No! Claudine? Give them to 
Lorelei. She's never been anything but mean to us. You're right. Now, where's that teleportation amulet? You're supposed to be in my best scene. Everybody just stop this. Frankie, no! Okay, maybe cooties are real, but we don't have to play along. Go ahead, give them to me. You got it. Hey, push! Go ahead and pass us on! No, if you want to banish me because I have stupid cooties, then go ahead. She's right. It doesn't matter if she's got cooties. She's still Frankie. She's our friend. I guess you're right. Aw, you guys, you're making me feel all voltageous. Ah, this is ridiculous. Ah, I can't take it. Come on, fellas, we're out of this place. It looks like everyone's in the Boo Year's Eve spirit. This is going to be the best year ever. All my friends will have plans for the next year. We've only got seconds left until midnight. Eight, seven, six, Just not ready for tonight. Whoa! Did I do that? Oh, Frankie! What is going on? Don't touch anything until I can figure out how to fix this. Uh, oh. Look at all of them. So excited for the coming year. I wish I was. Hey, Claudie, I'm gonna launch my own scary cool clothing line. The word of the year for Cleo in 2013, Domine Natch. Uh, of course you're gonna cure scoliosis. <laughs> uh, Heath, what are you doing? What? Uh, not building a fort out of zombies, that's for sure. Pew, pew. Operetta's gonna write a rockabilly opera. Venus is gonna organize a cleanup of Gloom Beach. Rebecca's gonna rocket jump over Monster High. You see, every monster I know has a plan for 2013. Everyone except me. Doesn't that make it more exciting not knowing what's coming up? Maybe. There are so many surprises waiting for you in the new year. Yeah, you're right. Hey. When'd you get to be so smart? It's kind of a secret, but the Heaster's got a pretty big brain in here. <laughs> it's okay not to know what's in store. You know what? Now I'm pretty sparked about 2013. Three, two, one. You excited? Totes excited. Goya, are you excited? Oh, oh. Of course I am excited. Can't you tell? Frankie, you excitement about tomorrow? What's tomorrow? <laughs> hmm, that's weird. Must have lost my signal. Oh, tomorrow, Frankie Stein, is picture day. Uh, so? Oh. Frankie, you should never underestimate the importance of picture day. A photo lasts forever. Yes, like snowman. Don't snowman melt? Not if made properly. Enough with the history lesson. It's time to get to work. Doing what? Snowboarding party. Flashing show. <laughs> school. But we were up all night picking out our outfits. You'll just have to wait till next week when I come back to take makeup photos. Oh, oh so much relief. Oh, he's coming back next week. Next week? Uh, that means we only have seven days to pick a new outfit. Oh, we gotta hurry. Perfect. Looking fine, Laguna. <laughs> 
prepare for the date of your life. Uh, oh, um, hey, hey, Mom. Uh, hey, Dad. I'm going on a date with Laguna. I know she's a sea creature. I know what they say about them. Laguna isn't like that. She's wonderful. She is different. You always said sea creatures were mean, spiteful monsters. But Laguna's the sweetest, most sensitive ghoul I've ever met. Poor little green bros. Do our hearts not beat the same? Does not the same green blood flow through our veins? You said that sea creatures were disloyal and treacherous, but Laguna is the most faithful, true, protective friend that anybody ever had. I try so hard! That's what's messing you up. Don't wrong go. Be natural. Be yourself. And you'll be spot on. Yeah. <laughs> Gulia's really brilliant, huh? <sighs> you are not too dumb for Gulia. <sighs> Well, I'm gonna make this right. If you're going, I'm going with you. By working together, we conquered our fears and did the whole school a favor. What? You're still clinging to those worn-out old prejudices? You're wrong about this. I'm not going to stop seeing her. So you're both just going to have to deal with that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, uh, I forgot something. Okay, uh, bye. I'll be back early. Now I just have to pass the road test this afternoon, and I'll be an official driving goo. Who you get for your test? Hmm? An instructor fender bender. Oh, fender bender. Wow, he sounds tough. You need our help. Essence of Scario Feng Dreddy, the race car champion? I don't know about this. <laughs> Maybe I'll just crack the books. When in blazer, pass Yeti on left. Time to crank up the heat. Uh, guys. I learned to drive by playing extreme graveyard derby. I really should be home. Studying. This is studying, only it's way more fun! Good job! Isis! Driving is kind of fun! Should I pull over? You never pull over! You just go faster! Oh, sorry. Never get a license while I am here. <laughs> Next, Frankie Stein. Follow me. Are you all right? How did you do? <laughs> Ta -da! So yes, I knew you could. It was obviously those moves you learned to play in Graveyard Derby. My Fang Dreddy racing potion did the trick. No, was my Ice Road Simulator. Actually, I did it the old-fashioned way. I studied. Congratulations. Here's your license. The four seasons are caused by the Earth revolving around the sun, as illustrated in this vision board. Your homework assignment is to create your own vision board, illustrating one of the seasons and why you think it's the most important. Frankie, you, Abby, and Cupid are in a group. We can do project at my place. Sounds super chill. Yes, very. I knew keeping every issue of Teen Scream would totally come in handy one day. What season should we pick? Let's do spring, the season when everything blossoms and grows and love is in the air. Also in the air, Holland, I'm allergic. We pick winter, a time to be quiet and reflective. Without pollen, we wouldn't have flowers. Without winter, no snow, no snow, no snow days. Maybe we should pick summer. At least in the spring, you can go outside. Nothing better than evening at the fireplace. Are you saying winter is better than spring? 
is fact. Maybe we should do fall. Winter, you can go sledding. In spring, you can catch ladybugs. Climb glaciers. Take daisies. Build snowmen. Take strolls in the park. I think both seasons are great in their own way. Look how pretty this flower is. Ice flower, much more pretty. There goes my GPA. Ghastly point average. <laughs> understand that you couldn't even have spring without winter or winter without spring wait that's it abby cupid and i realized that without winter you can't have spring and as one season turns into the other the important thing is how they work together Okay, dancers, auditions start in five minutes. Be prepared to impress me. Oh. Hey, Invisibility, watch where you're sweeping. Sorry. Well, hey, y'all. Hey, Operetta. Cute outfit. Thanks, hon. Y'all, too. You'll be dancing in style. I know. Y'all better bring your A game today. I'm feeling pretty good about my chances. Keep dreaming, Operetta. I'm ready for this. There's only one me dance part. Mine. <laughs> so cute. Come on, mate. Don't be like that. Yeah, everyone's got a fair shot. It could even be me. Sweetie, I'm not trying to be rude here, but you got feet made of stone. Um, maybe you could try out for stage manager. Okay, dancers, places a five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I need my space to shine here. That was adequate. Get ready for round two solos. Laguna, you're first. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Don't be sad, Rochelle. Howling Wolf. Those girls are right. My feet, they are made of stone. But you're still a good dancer. But a lead dancer must jump. Leap, twirl in the air. I cannot do any of these things. Operetta. Maybe you can do that stuff. Come on, I've got an idea. The last dancer, Rochelle. I do not know if I can watch this. I just hope she don't embarrass herself. Bravo! Bravo! You defy gravity! Uh, Rochelle, you got the part. Oh, invisibility. Thank you. No problem. But what? Where? How did she do that? Beats me. Ah! That's why my wedges are the most important things I own. That was both informative and enlightening. Aww. Next up, Skeleta. I... <laughs> Laura. Don't worry, Skeleta. You're gonna do fine. <clears throat> The most important object to me is this necklace. It was given to me by my grandmother. It has been in my family for 10 generations. Its story began when the Jefe de Brujaria, Bonampa, needed to find the perfect gift for her daughter. Oh, man, is this gonna be all romantic and sappy? <laughs> then, the volcano erupted. In the midst of this turmoil, she saw something as beautiful and unique as her daughter before she could reach it. It was smashed before her eyes. But Bonampa was very wise. She knew you must find a way to create something good out of pain and tragedy. The necklace began that tradition. Strong women passed it on to young girls who came of age. And no matter where life took my family, we held on to it and passed it on. Then, when my abuelita was a little girl, an awful event took the necklace away. It seemed hopeless. What an unbelievable downer! Doesn't this story have any car chases or anything? Shh! Skelita, tell me how she got the necklace back. My abuelita thought it was gone forever. Then she remembered the lesson of Bonampak. You can overcome anything if you find the good in it. The loss of the necklace made my abuelita see that it was her family that was most precious to her. And magically, the necklace returned. That was the proudest moment of her life. And when my abuelita gave it to me, it was the proudest moment of my life. And that is why this necklace is the most important thing I own. Ah, that was the most beautiful story I've ever heard. Tell us another one, please! <laughs> Good job, 
on the stand, Unifier. It was an honor using my talents to help commemorate your friend's accomplishment. I can't believe Claude scored 200 points in one game! He was on fire, Paul! From beyond the grave! <laughs> Careful, Flame Brain. That game ball is irreplaceable. I'll hold on to it. Give it here! I'm the Dude, it's my ball. I'm called Hey, boys! What? Smokes, it fell down that old well. We will just go down and get it. There it is. It's lost forever. There is a way. Step aside. Let Manny show you how it's done. We need to calculate the distance down and then melt the bars. Oh, oh, oh. We need a laser. What if we spear it? Hey, boys. What? Problems are not always solved with demonstrations of strength. I grew up the only girl in a house with seven brothers. Everything was a competition. One day, my father called on each of us to help capture an evil creature that was terrorizing our town. Each of my brothers went after the beast. They tried to bring it out with force and aggression, but the only thing they returned with were broken bones. The wise thing to do is not to force your way in, but to find a way to force it out. Oh, I see what you're... No, I don't. Let me show you. Genius! The water is bringing the ball right up to us. You see, force and aggression are not always the answer. Uh, the ball's not the only thing the water brought up. But sometimes force helps. I think I should hold on to this. Yeah. Cleo, huge emergency. I need as many extra bandages as you can spare. They're not for me. Thanks. W well, careful. They're designer. Have you seen Venus? She told me to bring a 3,000 cc's of distilled water. Stat, whatever that means. Yeah, and she told us to bring the largest thermometer we could find. What is that ghoul up to? Hang in there, big guy. Venus? Quick, we don't have much time. Oh! My ghostier bandages! Cleo, this is the oldest living tree in Monster High. He's been here for hundreds of years. What's wrong with it? Uh, him? It's his roots. I've tried everything, but nothing's working. He doesn't have much time. It can't be hopeless. Someone must know what to do. A teacher, a scientist, Gulia. Mother. Mother Nature. She'll know. Mother Nature, there is a great oak in danger. Remember what the tree has been to you. Then love it back to life. To life. I got it. Call Cleo. Tell her to get every monster in school out by the tree ASAP. Thank you, Mother Nature. To life. What's the deal, Cleo? Why are we all standing around this big piece of overgrown firewood? Yahoo! He's not firewood, Heath. He's a living history of who we are. I wrote some of my best stories under this tree. I lost five soccer balls up there. Julia, you used to study here all the time. <laughs> and Claude and I came here on our first date. See, he carved our initials with his paw. <gasps> I can't do it tonight. I'm, uh, uh, studying with Romulus. For what class? The one with all the tests? Uh, gotta go. Claude just canceled our date. Right, because he and Deuce promised to help Mr. Hack repaint his hers. No, they're all going to Gil's house to work on that rap album. What? what? Why would they all cancel on you at the same time and then lie about their plans? Man, it does sound ridiculous. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, hey, ghouls. Don't hey, ghouls me. Why did all three of you cancel on us? The truth this time. Rap album. What? Sorry, I'm a terrible liar. Look, tonight is our guy's night out. We've been planning it for a while. Just bros, no ghouls allowed. So, what are you doing? The guy stuff. You wouldn't understand. In your dreams, Jackson! Hey, look, uh, we gotta run. Yeah, there's something fishy going on. We need to find out exactly what they've got planned for tonight. Claude 
and Goose talking about a strategy for some kind of battle. And Jackson and Gil were pretty aggro towards each other. They're going to fight! Oh, we have to stop them! Julius traced their location. I'm about to bring the pain! Over there! Ow! Take that! Level four lasers right through your defenses! I got force field regeneration. Booyah! Commander, we have to retreat. I can take this guy. Well, they're not fighting. This is guys' night out. Come on, ghouls. Let's leave them to their nerd game. Are you kidding? This is hilarious. Careful, Commander. You're too low. Pew, 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 pew. Boys are so weird. But, you know, kind of adorable. Captain, we're going to crash. <laughs> Very poor, Julia. Coming up on tomorrow's show, Cleo Denial. Remember, Cleo, you must do it from memory. No notes, no recipes. Okay, Denial Family Recipes. Oh, hey, Ghoul. What? Oh, tell me everything. No. 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 Yes. Okay, maybe. <gasps> what am I going to do? I've got nothing. <laughs> Guya, I do appreciate you letting me use your raspberry boufflé recipe, but I'll never be able to memorize it before class. Hiya, ghouls. Gara, how was telepathy camp? Too amazing for words. I'm thinking of a number between six, 29. Scary cool. Scara Screams is telepathic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can give her Guya's recipe cards, and she can read them to me from another room. Scara's an awesome ghoul, but hearing everybody's thoughts makes it hard for her to focus. All she has to do is read what's on the cards. What could go wrong? Today, I'm going to be making my world-famous raspberry bouffle. Okay, Scara, just read me off the ingredients. Okay, four cups of whole milk. And we add four cups whole milk. A single Single carton of fresh organic milk, scary. That ghoul was so hot, I'd need a gallon of liquid nitrogen to cool her down. One gallon liquid nitrogen? One gallon of liquid nitrogen? Number 24 better watch out tonight. 24 cups of flour, 11 slap bracelets, and one smartphone? Now I'll just put this in the oven, and it'll be just a few minutes until tasty time. I'll just wait for my A+. Plus. Um... thinking that you're unhappy. It doesn't take a mind reader. Here, have a super healthy vitamin replenishing drink before you hit the dance floor. This Sour Scarab Blast is divine. You should try the seaweed sling. Here you go, two scary berry and bark shakes. Making specialty drinks sure seems like a lot of work, Frankie. Oh, I like the customizing. And if you don't like it, I'm happy to make you another. Did you hear that? Suddenly, I'm totally parked from showing off my moon. <laughs> Hi, Torlai. Persephone, Meality, can I get you a smoothie? That's why we're here. <laughs> Try my fierce feline refueler. Got a pinch of catnip. <laughs> this is awful! Oh, no. Well, I'll be happy to make you another. This is gonna be fun. Try this. A little less catnip and a little more tuna. Oh, bland. I put some lemon zest in this one. We'll take it out and make it colder. Uh, extra ice. Oh, too cold. And more oranges. Oh, These oranges aren't fresh. Oh, sorry. I'll cut some right up. <laughs> Not bad. I'm trying to hate it, but meow! I'm having whatever they have. Hey, zap one up for me. Make it fast. Oh, wait, you can't. You're a zombie. 
Hey! She was just trying to invite you to her party. Torlai, she was trying to be nice. That lot of good that day. Let me guess. It starts at 8, but the zombies don't get there till 11. <laughs> you think you're as fast as me? Wanna bet on it? Tell you what. I'll race you to Mr. Hack's class on the other side of school. If you win, I'll serve food at your party. If I win, you serve food at one of mine. Julia, you don't <laughs> deal. See you at my party. If you want to get there on time, you'd better leave now. <laughs> Ooh, we can't let Gulia lose to that corrupt calico. I've got this laser pointer. Maybe we can get her to chase it down the wrong hall. I can hit her with pies. Come on. Be pretty funny. Guys, this is cheating. She has to do this on her own. Right, Gulia? Gulia? There's, there's no rush. This cat's got this in the bag. Hey, Spectra! I've got a perfect headline for your ghostly gossip blog. Zombies serve kitties at high-end soiree. <laughs> <laughs> Super highway, huh? Who knew? <laughs> May I offer you another pie? Zombo. Oh! <laughs> See? I tell you, it's fun. <laughs> it's the first full moon of the lunar leap year, and romance was in the air. Wear my ring. My Claw City jacket? <laughs> My flea collar. Except for Halloween. Don't go falling into that I gotta get a boyfriend trap. Why? Because I'm too young. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Hi, Rom. <gasps> wow. You are barking up the wrong tree, little sis. He used to puppy seat you. Welcome to Monster High's Full Moon Sports Day. Oh, yeah. I got it! I got it! In your dreams, dude. That's him, Romulus. How can I make him notice me? Do the things he likes to do. Hey! Those sticks are for the bonfire! Thanks! Oh, not that one! <laughs> no! Slow down! <laughs> Go ahead, try it. Yep, yep. Oh. 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 If he can't see how completely terrific you are, it's his loss. Thanks, Lothar. You're such a great friend. Yeah. <sighs> friend. Romance can be pretty tricky sometimes. For every monster who won't notice you, there's somebody right behind you you are not noticing. And right behind them. They came from the depth of space to take over our minds and our planet. I never would have guessed that Janitor was under alien control the whole time. Imagine if that really happened. Oh no. They're here! What's gotten into you? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Yet. Whoa, did your pet get sick in there? The evil aliens are invading our school. They want to control us. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody believes us. Just like in the movie. All we need is proof. Newsflash! Frankie and Dracula say aliens invade Monster High! <laughs> What's wrong, Slomo? <laughs> Implant just like in the movie. Let me take a look. It's just a splinter. There's no such thing as evil aliens. She's one of them. I know. Hi, ghouls. Oh, you know it would look fabulous with those outfits. Tinfoil hats. <laughs> 
better stop before we alienate all our friends. <gasps> It's just a contaminated lab rat. Little guy doesn't like his plasma injections. <laughs> <laughs> I take it you ghouls accept the evidence that no aliens are trying to invade Monster High. No more spreading rumors, all right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 You've just solved Primus Hypothesis and Fermat's Theorem in one equation. Outstanding! Who <laughs> oh, yeah, is about to break a million points on the Dead Fast video game? <laughs> Gulia is really brilliant, huh? <laughs> you are not too dumb for Gulia. <laughs> Leo? Yeah, she has lots of crazy potions and stuff. Maybe there's one to make you smarter, but I don't think this is... <sighs> okay. Leo's got this. Super intelligence potion. Includes antidote. <sighs> I think, therefore, I am finally worthy of Gulia. Now, if you ladies will excuse me, I have a ghoul to impress. Deft move, old chum. Nicely done, but check. The King's Gambit, beautifully played. And yet, check. And checkmate. Your rebuttal. Your argument was merely a fusillade of cataleptic verbiage to make your most puerile asseveration seem, oh, the acme of sagacious propacity. The monster choose its Institute of Technology is coming by to look at your theorem. I've noticed a couple of inconsistencies in your work. There. Much better. Where's Gulia? I need to explain that... She doesn't like what you've become. Rude. Full of yourself. But I'm an absolute genius. That's what she wanted. It's what you said she wanted. She liked who you were before. If you were really a genius, you'd know that. You left this at Cleo's. The antidote. <laughs> what a waste of a perfectly good potion. He doesn't even remember being smart. I don't know if it was a waste. Gulia remembers. <laughs> What's this new kid's name? Ryder. I bet he's a natural athlete. From the look of his vlog, this kid's pretty intense. Oh, Claude would just break a leash to get another guy for school to meet Robin <laughs> Man, this place is spin credible. Um, hi. Monster High is totally a place where you can be yourself. What are we gonna check out first? Maybe we shouldn't show all the sports stuff. What if he got hurt? Ryder, wait up! <laughs> Penmanship class? Awesome, right? We've got a whole bunch of voltageous activities planned. Library club, yarn collecting club, rock and pebble society. This is what you guys all do for fun around here? Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. I heard so much spectacular stuff about Monster High, but none of it's true. Ryder, wait! Have you seen Ryder? Yep. Oh, and I may have told him about Scream, how it was the most epic thing you could possibly do. <laughs> what? No. Could you let him on the scream track? Skultimate Roller Maze is not safe! Hey, we said the same thing to you when you wanted to play Scream. Maybe he knows what he can or can't do better than any of us. You see? Are you okay? Okay, that was totally spin sane! I'm gonna do it again! I don't know. You told me that Monster High was a place that I can be myself, right? Well, I'm not a sit-around kind of dude. This is who I am. I promise, if I need any help, I'll ask. Cool? Yeah. I, uh, I do need help with something. Will you light my wheels on fire? <laughs> I want to try this jump again! 
Ladies, it's time for Monster High to pick its annual Creature of the Year. And I'd like your assistance in choosing the winner. I've narrowed it down to two members of the faculty, Mr. Hack and Mr. Rodder. Well, it can't be Mr. Hack. He's anti-fibian. Maybe you should switch partners. Why would you say that? Everyone knows sea monsters are bad parents. Oh, I didn't realize. And he takes royal delight in our misery. Your cabin is in a slightly different location. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. You fail, you fail, you fail, you fail. <laughs> Off with the grades. Then that settles it, Mr. Rotter. It is no way. Mr. Rotter, I totally did the work to perfection. Why didn't I get an A? I don't give A's. And remember when he gave us all detention? You and your friends have detention. What did we do? One of you took my glasses, and I demand to know who. Those glasses? Oh, um, yes. Well. I guess I have to start my search over. Nightmare, hand me my files. <laughs> Wait, the award is for Creature of the Year, right? Yes. Well, then maybe it should go to... Nightmare, the Creature of the Year! <laughs> I just hope the award doesn't go to my head. Lead us to freedom, for we are helpless without you. First, I must lay it down the smack on yonder Sinisterians. Take one more step, and you're all toast. What? Put that dumb game down. Yeah, come on. It's Friday the 13th, 2013, so tonight's party has to be off the bang. Oh, man. I was about to level up. Make yourself useful and stencil this on that rock. Whoa, check it out. Someone beat me to it. What's it say? It's Sinisterian, the language of the villains in my video game. Look! Please do read it. On Friday the 13th of the 13th year, the Sinisterians will return to this spot to take over. We have to cancel the dance. You want us to cancel the biggest Friday the 13th in history? This is not about a party. The most evil creatures ever are coming here tonight. Dogwash. This is just like the time you ran through the creepateria screaming about a meteor. Everybody, duck and cover! <laughs> The time you said Monster High was sinking like Atlantis. This time, it's for real. Yes. Oh, my school! Look! I don't know what's worse, those guys or the fact that Heath was right. You can't take my friends as slaves! Whoa, chill out. You got the message we left, right? Yeah, 13th day, 13th year. You're gonna take over? Yes, we came to take over the dance floor. We love to boogie. Oh, oh. oh I'm so relieved. That they're not evil? No, that you are right. Evil? Ha! Dude, you play too many video games. Oh, oh. Can you zombies move any slower? Zombies. They need their own lane in the hall. I'm gonna run for student disembodied president. Then I can help them. I'll be your campaign manager. Lunch and creepateria tastes like yak feet. You make better? You'll make my birthday a school holiday, right? Wow, everyone wants something from me. <gasps> I just want you to lose. This commercial will give you a 50-point bump in the polls. I'm Frankie Stein, and I want to make Monster High better. Yes, I hate creepateria food. Yes, I know how werewolves feel on the full moon. But what really leaves a bad taste in my mouth is our poor treatment of zombies. Let's go win some votes. And that's me. <laughs> and that's not all. I'll expand the park 
parking lot. I'm running because zombies need someone to be their voice. Remember, Ben oh, Garland. Oh. Day. You should really hear from someone who's experienced injustice firsthand. Slow mo. <laughs> oh, thing. <laughs> this breaks my heart. Allergies. I stand with slow mo. If you do too, there's only one way to vote. <laughs> told everyone voting for me to vote for Slow-Mo instead. He's the best voice for the zombies. Frankie, you did the right thing. So, about making my birthday a school holiday. <laughs> hey, Cleo. Toy, I barely saw you there. I mean, you're just that forgettable. You've got no chance of getting the lead in the school play. I was born to play Gorothy in the Wizard of Ooze. Aren't you, like, older than the pyramids? This is a part for a young monster. <laughs> like me. Good luck, Grandmummy. Grandmummy? Oh, wait, that's it! My Grandmummy! In this bottle is magical water from the Fountain of Youth. Gorothy is as good as mine. Outstanding, Cleo. So vibrant. Such enthusiasm. There's something seriously fishy going on with that ghoul. Tolai! What are you- I knew you were using some kind of youth potion. Give me some. Pause. Oh. Give it! What's going on? They are acting like hungry yaks at milk. I need to be younger! No, I need to be younger! <laughs> Oh no! We're monster babies! <laughs> I'm sure there's some kind of reversal potion, right? Yes, but my great great grandmummy has to send it to me! And callbacks are in two minutes! <laughs> Mr. Ware? I can explain. She cursed me with her crazy potion. You should have just let go. <gasps> you should have let go. No, you no. are perfect for the part. Is it me? Which one? Why, both of you. Oh, it's the Crutchkins. We, we represent, represent the, the Crawly Tot Guild. Guild. This must be humiliating. Tonight is going to be an epic night for you, Guya. Your first kiss. <laughs> well, that's what Do said Slow Mo told him, that he was going to kiss you on our double date. The key is to not rush it. Thanks. Just be yourself and nothing can go wrong. <laughs> <gasps> My father's precious idol! <gasps> <gasps> we must have released a curse that switched our bodies! <gasps> oh no! The boys are here! Open. Just let yourselves in. We can't let Slow Mo kiss you. <gasps> Me? Leo? Coming! <laughs> we'll have to figure this out on the fly. What do you ghouls want? Oh. You sound like you're coming down with something. How about a hot tea? Gulia? Moan? What? Um, moan? Oh, decaf. Check my purse. See if there's anything on reversing curses. Oh. I don't care how silly you think they are, Gulia. What? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Look, bro, she really likes you. Ooh. We'll kiss them at the same time. That way it won't be so weird. I know how much your first kiss meant to you, Gulia. Looks like it'll have to be another night. <laughs> I'm me! The kiss must have fixed us, Gulia. <gasps> Cleo! That machine is so noisy and slow and noisy. Why don't you get yourself an eye coffin? I like my old typewriter. It gets the job done. Yeah, but you can't download free games like this one. I wonder why Dracula.
like your Laura didn't show up for class. Yeah, I hope she's okay. Last I saw her, she was in the schoolyard. She seemed rather preoccupied. What are you doing? Did you miss class because of some game? I'm turning this thing off. Hey, there's some kind of witch ghoul coming at me. You just hurl a potion bottle at her. Here, I'll show you. Draculaura and your sister seem to be in a wee bit of trouble. Claude? Oh, dear. You guys have been playing for, like, ever. Come on, Frankie, join us. Yeah, give it a go, Frankie. Oh. You can pick up your little gadget from Miss Bloodgood's office later. Oh, what an interesting looking game. Look! New high score. <sighs> the important thing to remember in the Emmerich experiments is to never let the propane heat up more than 900 degrees. Julia, I need your help. I'm terribly sorry, but we have to stop this epidemic. Oh. You're transmitting a virus to all the other devices? Splendid! I haven't the foggiest idea what that means, but I sure hope it works. Uh -huh. Game over, I guess. Yo, check it! I got this rockin' new app. It's even better than Angry Ghouls. Ghostly gossip to tell the ghouls what's gone and what's not. Hold your horses! <gasps> Look at that Mustang that just pulled up. <gasps> A new boy! Oh boy. It says his name is Archer. More competition. <laughs> Sugar, fancy meeting a cult like you in a school like this. <laughs> nice try, Country Mouse. Let me show you how it's done. <gasps> Oops. Oh, what a clumsy little kitty. Mind helping a lady out, Hansel? Oh, he is so mine. <laughs> oh, honey, he didn't even notice you. <laughs> I'll have him chomping at the bit by lunch. Oh, dream on. Oh, I wish somebody would help poor little me down these stairs. I'm fixing to trot on over there and have me a lunch day. Keep your claws off him. He's mine. <gasps> you did not. <laughs> I reckon I did. <laughs> we have to stop this! What are you, nuts? And ruin our lunchtime entertainment? You want to settle this once and for all? Yeah! Come on! Okay! okay. Which one of us do you like? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what? You can have him. He ain't my type. Uh, no, thank you very much. I've got more horse sense than that. Oh, Scara, what number am I thinking of? I don't know. One, the loneliest number. All right, Scara, what boy has you all wrapped up? Buzz Bingley? No, no, invisibly. Why don't you just go talk to him? If I get too close, I'd hear what he's thinking. What if I heard he didn't like me? I couldn't bear it. Set. Well, Invisibilly and Scarer would make like a perfect couple, except she's too shy and Billy's too quiet and he's... Whoa, 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 Billy's my boy. I heard about you and Scare. Well, what did you hear? Don't you like her? I'm afraid that if I get too close, she'll read my mind and then she'll see just how much. And that might freak her out, because she may not like me. You gotta be transparent with her. It's the only way you'll find out. I can't. That's what he said. We can't even trick her into a meeting. She'd just read our minds. <laughs> I think I know how to fix this. Bad news, bro. Scare's already got a date tonight in the graveyard. With who? Some guy. Billy has a date tonight in the graveyard. Scare will be devastated. Obviously, we can't tell her. Is something wrong? Whatever you do, don't think of Billy's date tonight in the graveyard. Billy has a day with who? I'm late for class. Oh, um, I'm 
sorry. I didn't see you there. I, uh, I guess your date will be here soon. My date? You mean your date? But Claude said... But Dracula said... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I like you too. What? They're together? Okay, I'm confused. I see you two finally got a meeting of minds. <laughs> it's not easy to surprise a telepath. We just told Draculaura it was a secret. I didn't say a word. You didn't have to, lass. Can I walk you to class? You read my mind. Don't deserve it. Enough! Oh. You so owe me. I'm sorry. Consider this payback. <gasps> you ruined it. I got it. No, I got it. It's for me. Hello, Goo. It's your grand mummy. It's for you. She better not be coming to visit. I'm coming to visit. At which time, I will give my most valuable treasure. Treasure? To the granddaughter who shows she loves me the most. <gasps> I'll show grand mummy dearest who loves her best. I love her the most. <laughs> to the granddaughter who has shown me that she loves me the most, Nephora. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! No, 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 no. The dog of the dead. Oh, it was you. the kid who was sentenced to 3,000 years of detention. The catacombs used to be his old haunt. My catacombs? If I saw Johnny Spirit, I'd be all whoppa! He yeah. <laughs> Okay, Johnny, time's up. You're free to return to class. But I'm watching you. Mm -hmm. I've seen worse. Oh, Johnny Spirit! All bat, no vampire. Hmm. <laughs> Toralai. Beat it. I'm not autographing your stupid poster. <gasps> He's like the baddest dude that ever lived. Totally. He is kind of cute. In a scary sort of way. <laughs> he floats around like he owns the place. He's just a jerk. Oh, no. Music? No. Oh, ah! 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 place is my stomping grounds. This was my home way before it was yours. Why don't you get your pasty, transparent hands off my stuff and skedaddle on out of here? <laughs> Cute. Tell you what, I'll play you for it. Winner gets the spot. Bring it. Are they fighting? It's a jam session. <sighs> you ain't half bad. And you're not completely terrible. Call that one a draw? Hmm, best two out of three. Hey, what's with all the racket? Johnny Spirit! Oh. Make it five out of nine. <laughs> Looking hot! Laguna, I'm adrift in your sea of beauty. You think you're so cute, don't you, mate? Yeah, a little. Well, you're not. Crikey, why do you have to be such a child? Oh. Laguna, this math problem should be Gappy's play for you. Oh, uh, who cares? <gasps> I am the fastest of all time! <laughs> okay, she's officially gone off the deep 
spent. What did you do to her? It doesn't matter whose fault it is. We've got to fix this. But how? We can start by showing her how special she is to us. That should make her feel better. I'm going to do some loud, crazy gesture to remind her of what she means to me. Operation Cheer Up Laguna is in effect. We got your little something. It's the new box makeup's wedges. Yeah, whatever. Laguna, we baked you your favorite double chocolate and seaweed pillow. <laughs> Thought we might find you here. Whatever's going on with you, we're your BFFs. Just tell us. Shh. Listening to the murmur of the waves makes me feel better. Every hundred years, the ocean goes through a magnetic reversal, causing all of us sea creatures to go through a monster morphosis. Well, just tell us how to fix this. Frankie, you can't fix it. It's part of who I am. Then what can we do? Be my friends. Be there for me. Listen to me. And right this second, be quiet. I'm kind of glad Gil isn't with you. This is so hard to explain, especially to a freshwater boy. Oh no, Gil! Monster Mashinals. Think we lost them, mate? It would appear not. <laughs> Watch the wobble! <laughs> when mixing an invisibility potion, carefully measure each ingredient or the consequences will be dire. <laughs> you there. Oh, jolly good romp there. Top shelf chasing, if I do say so. Even better than yesterday. <laughs> We've still got two minutes till class starts. Fancy another go? <laughs> <laughs> Did you send it? I didn't, but I'd like to know who did. I must have a secret admirer. It's about time. About time I find this guy and tell him to knock it off. He's so cute when he's jealous. Have you seen Cleo? I need to talk to her. Why? You got a thing for her? No, I gotta ask her something. Like, if she got your flowers? Well, she did. Dude, you're acting crazy. I'm out of here. Don't turn your back on me when I'm talking to you. Or what? You gonna do something about it? <laughs> you and me, three o'clock, Cleo's locker. Furball. Juice and Claude are gonna brawl! <gasps> That's adorable! I have to find your secret admirer before someone gets hurt. Julia, show us Cleo's locker, then fast forward. Oh, oh no! The shot is blocked! What do we do? The boys start brawling any minute! Cleo's <laughs> locker! You're my bro, Claude, but Cleo is with me. Nobody accuses me of trying to steal their cool. Huh? Uh. Whoa, wait, you're my Rose. Get back in my locker. I'm not your Rose. I'm Thornton, new student, and it's my locker. Ah, uh, I'm 
Locker 111. Yours is 777. Hey, oops. My bad. So, I don't have a secret admirer. Ha! Too tall, no foliage, and your roots are showing. <laughs> Bro, he just insulted your ghoul. Come on. Three guys brawling over me? The perfect day. I got our map. Who's ready for some voltageous fun? A race through a maze? I do not race anywhere. The team that plows their way through in the fastest time gets their pictures in the gory gazette. Who's in the lead now? Meow. You flea brains really think you're going to be our time? <laughs> Your record is history. You've got 30 minutes. Good luck. What do you think, Laguna? Lift does look shorter. Oh, popcorn, anyone? Hey. Hey, whatever. No map, no record. I just hope that we can find our way out. We've been wandering around here forever. It's been four minutes, love. Oh, what's that? Manny, he's a minotaur. They're supposed to be bonzo when it comes to mazes. I bet he can lead us out. At bases. <gasps> Wasp, there's all sorts of scary things in here. Let's go! Twenty-nine minutes. Congratulations, girls. You're gonna be on the cover. This weekend, I have tickets to the Gargoyle Olympics. Can someone watch him for me? Who can resist such a luxurious coat? So soft and pretty. We just need somewhere to keep it for a bit. Oh, I'll take it. I uh, thought I was getting a coat. There are three rules for you to follow. Do not let him eat cheese. He must be kept at room, temperature, and never, never let him get near electricity. Merci. I'll give you a hand. Draculaura, he's not supposed to have cheese. Oh. He is probably thirsty. Let me know. He can't get cold. So much for Ruthie. <laughs> alive. What? Every year, he sheds his coat and hibernates. He's sleeping? Oui, but uh, because you broke the rules, he started a week early. He's alive! I'm so happy! <laughs> Feast your eyes, ghouls. It's called Iridescent Scream. You're late to help us bake for the fundraiser because you got your nails done. This polish is made from the extract of the giant mutant octopus. Ooh, no nibbling until you help. Whatever. But if I chip a nail... <laughs> saved by the bell. <laughs> Stole all 
all the cookies I worked so hard to bake. Who's that? <laughs> First cookie customer. <laughs> Time to stonewall this cookie. Clean up this mess immediately. Wait! What do I do? Bon appetit! At least it has chocolate chips. This is big. Real big. The pep rally for the big game is really important to all of Monster High. With our help and this magic amulet, it will amplify our voices so we can shatter the cheer monitor. <laughs> okay, ghouls. Let's get the... Sorry I'm late, Cleo. No need to yell about how... How come you're not yelling? <laughs> oh, one of Cleo's amulets. Okay, don't worry, ghouls. I'll assemble an emergency fear squad until it wears off. <laughs> you're the best of the best. And the only ones who showed up. So, let's see what you got. Oops. There you go. <laughs> okay. Nothing a little hard work can't fix. We're no fear squad. We can't stop being ourselves, so we shouldn't try and be something we're not. I've got an idea for a new routine. Okay, students, put your claws together for your new Monster High Fear Squad. <laughs> Okay, Fear Squad, let's show the school our freaky flaws. Get it! Burst before. Let's go win this game. Way to go, Frankie. Spectra here with all the ghostly gods. Monster High is getting a new student all the way from the jungle. Jane Doolittle. Cool, a new ghoul. I wonder what she is like. Bloodgood wants Jane Doolittle to feel extra welcome since she was homeschooled. <laughs> Don't be shy. You can do this. <sighs> Today I begin my observation of the wildest species, monster teenagers. Who knows, if my findings are encouraging, I may join them in their natural habitat at Monster High. I think that's her. All right, ghouls, like we practiced. One, two, welcome, 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 Jane. Jane. Huh? Hey, uh, uh, where'd she go? Oh. The subjects are far more excitable than originally predicted, breaking out into sudden rhythmic chants. The teenagers learn in massive packs. <laughs> and I am beginning to pick up their monster vocabulary. They appear fashionably dressed with what they call fangulous footwear. There's so much I can learn from them. The students make several trips a day to their metal tree trunks with complicated puzzle shells. Ma, who can tell me where the revolution took place? Um, Vancouver. Very good, Miss. Uh... Have either of you met Jane Boo Little yet? Mm, no one's seen high enough for of them. <gasps> There's a breaking story! New Goo is missing in action! This expedition hasn't turned out at all the way I thought it would. Monster High is fun, but overwhelming with all its customs. It's all a bit much for me. I'm 
still worried that I would not be able to fit in at Monster High. I have decided to stay in the catacombs and reevaluate my methods of research. I realize this will be a lonely study until I am ready to make friends with the other students. There are creatures living in the catacombs of Monster High. And by using my monster power, I'm able to understand and talk to the animals. Who do you think she is? Never seen her before. She must be new. I am new to Monster High. Did she just talk to us? <laughs> Doggone it. Here, my name is Jane Bulito. Thanks. I'm Wojcik. We're the bad creatures of the students of Monster High. That's Shiver. Hey. Crescent. That's Meow. Hissette. Sir. Count Fabulous. Greetings. Perseus. Go, oh, dude. And Sir Hoots a lot. <laughs> I can tell just by looking at you who your owners are. I've been observing them for days. Please, don't tell them about us. We're not supposed to be here. Well, we like to be close in case we can help our owners. Oh, you don't have to worry about me revealing your secret. Because I won't be staying at Monster High. <gasps> Why? Well, I'm too shy to make friends. But we want to be your friends. But you're creatures. I'm more comfortable with you. How about you practice making friends? <laughs> with us. Uh -huh. It might help you to get over your shyness. Give Monster High another chance. Let's get started. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. To my new creature friends, I feel like I'm starting to make friends with the students of Monster High. And when I'm ready, I think I'll join them. From the secret files of Jane Boolittle comes Monster High Creature Adventures. This week's episode, Bat Dialing Disaster. Draculaura was leaving a message for her boyfriend, Claude. Go, go, Claude! You'll win, win! <laughs> Loves ya! Mwah. You ready for Claude's big birthday surprise party? You haven't given away surprise, have you? Uh, please! The last thing I want is Claude finding out I'm hiding something from him. Uh, Draculaura, I think you forgot to hang up your eye coffin. <gasps> I must have redialed! What if Claude hears it and thinks I'm keeping secrets? Count Fabulous saw that Draculaura was freaking out, so he filled the other creatures in on the disaster. And of course, they were all eager to help. Sir Hootsalot came up with a plan to erase Draculaura's voicemail. Yeah. But they'd have to get a hold of Claude's phone without anyone seeing them. Uh -oh. huh? Claude's phone was in his pocket. They would have to think fast and move faster. <laughs> I've got one message from Draculaura. Claude, it's not what you think. Hey, got your message. Thanks for the special cheer. Oh, you got my message, not messages. <laughs> That's great. So, it's my birthday. <laughs> not like I have anything planned. But... Surprise! Aw, thanks, guys. And though their efforts will go unnoticed, it's all in a day's work for the secret creatures. Ready, Abby? Ready. Let's, Let's make, make some, some art. art. Your art projects for the Scaritage Art Show are due by the end of class today. Your work will be judged by the Board of Dedication. Yay! Right. I love the art studio at Monster High. It is just like painting in skies. It would be easier if our inspiration model would stand still. <laughs> Sorry, I have a cold. You volunteered to be the model, Heath. I look smoking in a toga. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry. We've got to start over. 
Nice painting, Draculaura. But don't you think our inspiration should be a bit mm, larger? Hey, it's in there. I'm just expressing other models. Besides, the toga sells it. Check me out, huh? Heath, art is serious business. It's just a bunch of colors and squiggles on a pay. Eh. <laughs> Yeah! Keith! 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 Sorry. Must start again. Class will end soon. <gasps> Must stand still. No! <laughs> the Board of Education will now choose the winner. Yes, very impressive. I wonder who will get the blue ribbon. Good luck. And the winner is... Sculpture by Heath Burns. <gasps> Yay, love and art. Am I right, ghouls? Uh, ghouls? A little help here? <laughs> oh, she's gonna love this. Get ready for another of Claudia's wild adventures. Cool. Dear Sis, I was summoned to Lundoom Castle by the Queen herself. When the Queen invites you to a royal ball, you'd think that maybe someone would be having fun. Your Majesty. <laughs> I, oh, I can explain. Oh, again, again. This is quite fun. Oh, we had a ball. And that's when I met legendary ocean explorer, Yuck Crusto. Dreamy. Can't wait for the next email to see what happens. Helene still thinks the adventures Claudia writes are real. She'll be totally embarrassed when she learns that they're not true. Come on, it's not a problem. Yuck and I had a great time exploring the sea. His hat fell overboard, so I dove into fetch it. But a giant squid found it, so I was forced to wrestle him, getting the hat back and winning the Underwater Wrestling Championship. Did you ever hear such a story? <laughs> Still don't think it's a problem? Oh, so we have to break the news gently so she's not totally embarrassed. Right. Students, report to the Claudatorium to hear how Lean read her sister Claudia's latest adventure. Yuck took me to his island to celebrate, and that's where... Stop! I'm in the middle of one of Claudia's stories. About those stories? They're kind of, uh... Completely untrue. Made up. <laughs> I... I know. Our sister is a writer. The whole school knows. We haven't seen that. Oh! Well then. Get on with it. How does it end? We should go. Uh-huh. It's gonna be amazing! Oh! I got it! That will make a awesome next adventure! Caddy Noir is a true pop icon who emerged from nowhere to become one of the biggest teenage monster stars ever. She has it all. Talent, fame, and a really, really long limo. But behind all the critical acclaim, is MonsterKind's favorite diva hiding a dark secret? Find out today on Caddy Noir, Monsters of Music. Caddy was discovered at a grade school talent show. But unfortunately, she came in second. Caddy knew that she wanted to be the best. Caddy practiced 13 hours a day. She took every gig she could get. But it wasn't until her 13th video went viral with 13 million views that she got her big break. 13 became her lucky number. I'm having so much fun doing what I love, but I never forget that I'm just a normal girl. Caddy was at the height of her career, but had her luck run out? She canceled her 12th concert on October 12th, only 12 days before the show. What are you hiding? Let me explain. Oh, it's 12 o'clock. Is she too superstitious for her own good? Could this be the end for Caddy Noir? What? No way. We so still love Caddy. Totally. Well, what about her canceling the concert? Talk's misunderstanding. Her superstitious sense told her something was up with that show. And she was right. Yeah, turns out the day of the show, an earthquake struck, then a lightning bolt, then a meteor. Caddy saved everyone. I love you, Caddy! <gasps> She's my hero. Her superstitious nature saved all her fans. Yeah, you 
might want to check your facts next time. The truly humble yet superstitious monster pop star. With talent, drive, and commitment to her fans, there's no stopping this star from rising even higher. Up next, Caddy Noir retiring from music at age 16. Stay tuned. So, any idea which is Twyla's front door? It's this one. Twyla's place is really cool. You'll see. Hey, girls. Come on in. <laughs> Thanks for so inviting cool. us. Thank you. Love your house, Twyla. It's so... you. Don't you get lost? Nah, it's easy once you get the hang of it. Please be careful with that box. It's my dad's, the boogeyman. You really wouldn't want it to open. Well, I'll grab some snacks. Cleo, Twyla said we're not supposed to open the box. It's not like I'm rude or curious and we'll open it. Okay, I'm gonna take a tiny peek. <laughs> Anybody? Twyla, can you get them back in the box? I don't know how! I'll handle this. Listen up, nightmares. Just stuff yourselves back in that box right now! See? <laughs> the instructions here read, to return the nightmares to the box, just say the magic word. What's the magic word? <laughs> Abracadabra! Focus, focus. Ta-da! Inzy, winzy, the boxy! It's useless. <laughs> Go back into the box, Nightmares, please! I guess please really is the magic word. See, I told you. Hey, that was fun. Got an idea. Let's open my dad's other boxes. No! Actually, how about we just stay in here and study? <laughs> please. <laughs> You're really fitting in at Monster High. You're like a fish in water. Thanks, Ghouls. Being here, it's a wish come true. But I'm still trying to get used to not having any powers. Oh, man. I wish I hadn't lost my homework. Oh, here it is. Whew. Gigi, you have your powers back. How is this possible? <laughs> Monsters who lose very strong powers can sometimes retain smaller versions of those powers. Ooh. You can grant wishes again? Yeah, minor ones. But you still have to be careful what you wish for. Then how about wishing me up a manicure? <laughs> This is gonna be fun. I wish for some new boots. <coughs> Homework done. <coughs> Perfect hair day. Gigi, what are you doing hiding by the fountain? Just taking a break. I'm a little tired. Yeah, from granting all of Torelai's wishes. You can't let her take advantage of you like that. Or maybe it's Torelai who needs to be careful what she wishes for, because they always have consequences. <laughs> it's been almost 10 minutes since my last wish. Okay, now I want everyone talking about me. You have to be careful with wishes. If you're not clear, they can... Yeah, yeah, I got it, Gigi. Now give me my wish. Okay. <laughs> What is it? Oh, a monster set! Wow, oh, what did you do? You said you wanted everybody talking about you. And I said you should be careful what you wish for. <laughs> hey, Gigi, can you wish me up a date with you? Elizabeth, you are going to love it at Monster High. I am intrigued to see what it's like living undercover as a regular student. By the end of the week, you'll be fully prepared for your next movie role. Gabby, every girl, a regular student who was basically average. Nobody can find out they're going to school with a world-famous Huntley actress. I love Monster High. Toot! And don't worry, your secret is safe with me. <laughs> There's Claude! Gotta fly! Hey, you. Okay, what's the big secret? You can tell me. Hey, hey, hey! Oh. <gasps> but is really Elizabeth, the super mega-famous Huntley actress, and wow, it feels good to tell somebody. But you can't tell 
anybody. <laughs> no problem. Yay, <laughs> Regular school spirit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've never played basketball with a big Hartleywood actress watching me before. A big Hartleywood what now? <laughs> Anybody else get the feeling that somebody let the cat out of the casket? You didn't say anything, did you? Oh, 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 oh. Now everybody knows Elizabeth is at Monster High. We have got to get her out of here before she is swarmed by her fans. Elizabeth, I am going to fix this. Yeah, Dracula is going to fix this. Let's see if Viperine really is the best in the biz. <laughs> Small potatoes compared to the mythical moonlight ghost gorbelay. They say the ghost gorbelay was the most elegant southern ball in all the bayou, but it only happens once a century. We're getting close. One, 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 East Gator Boulevard. Um, are we at the right place? The map says right here. One, one, one. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> Seven, seven, seven! Oh, no. That's all the way on the other side of the swamp. By the time we get there, the party will be over. Uh, what else could go wrong? Oops. Look! Let's follow them. Anybody home? Maybe there's something else here Honey can make a movie about. Like what? The secret lives of dust and grime? <laughs> Party! Oh, honey, you didn't get to make your movie tonight, and it's all my fault. I say, there's no reason we can't have our own party right here. Really? Well, then, what do you say we light this place up a bit? What just happened? Dracula just led us to the moonlight ghost, Gorbelay. This only happens once every century. Come on, ghouls! Let's party! My best documentary yet, thanks to Dracula. Today was my worst day ever at Monster High. It was the day of the Jungle Boogie Dance. You must be thrilled about the dance, Jane. Jungle-themed, you'll fit right in. This will be my first school dance. <gasps> Who knows? Maybe you'll even be crowned queen of the jungle dance. No way that Freddy Cat's gonna get crowned, because this kitty's gonna be jungle queen. Well, we're all gonna vote for Jane and make sure she wins. Kind of hard to be queen if she's already scared off. Jane. I was terrified. Not only had I never been to a dance before, but my ghoul friends were going to nominate me to be the Jungle Queen. Jane, totes adorable. You are a shoe in to win Jungle Queen. I felt lost. Nothing made sense. I was used to being an observer, not a participant. Seems that Jane Boo Little is too scared to show up. She should just swing back to her jungle where she belongs. <laughs> Coralie's words were meant as an insult, but they ended up helping me put Monster High into perspective. It wasn't so different from my jungle home. Heath's attempts to impress the ghouls was just like a peacock showing off its feathers. The zombies dancing in unison was like a herd moving together. And Toralai's bossiness over the werecats was much like an alpha lioness asserting her leadership. Oh, there you are, Jane. You are right. Yep. Ready to show Monster High how we boogie in the jungle. Hey, look at Jane Boo Little. Hey, everybody, do the jungle boogie. And the queen of the jungle dance is Jane Boo Little. <laughs> what started out as the worst day ever turned into the best night. This is going to be the best year ever! Uh, Please, Guya, when have you 
ever done bad on a test? How about the that time, time she didn't, didn't use, use a number, number foo pencil? <laughs> Look at how much fun Jean Boo Little is having at school. She's finally ready to hang out with the ghouls. I think she'll say yes. No! You guys know I'm too shy to go to school up there again. We've taught you everything you need to know to be friends with them. And if you get into trouble, we'll be right there to help. I'll do it. Jane Boo Little. Um. Say, Draculaura, could I borrow your new issue of Monster Beat? Sure thing. Wait, how did you know that I had it? Uh, Cleo, how'd your big date with Deuce go? Finally, someone asked. Hey, Jane, how is it you know so much about us? I, um, uh, observe stuff. <laughs> Oi, you kids is crowding up the hole. And just for that, we're going to have a snap test today. And it'll be worth a thousand percent of your grade. <laughs> Mr. Hack's never been that mean before. It's probably that toothache that's bothering him. <gasps> Hey, how'd you know? Back in the jungle, I made a habit of observing creatures' behavior. Here, Abby, cool this down, please. Excuse me, Mr. Hack. This might help your toothache. Oh, my. It feels better. You know what? I'm canceling the test today. You're an amazing observer. Jane, that was awesome! Want to have lunch with us? Lunch? Thanks, ghouls. I'd like that. I just want to be a normal fool. Be like a girl and go to school. I want to be just let me be a normal fool. Now I'm going to take a long needed break from showbiz to go to Monster High. <laughs> um, hi? Patty! Oh, Patty! So excited to have you here at Monster High. Well, what is that? A diva locker. <laughs> we wanted you to be all right at home. Time for a pop quiz. Oh, totally unfair. Um, Mr. Otter, this quiz has an A on it, and I haven't even taken it yet. A pop star is too important for pop quizzes. Oh, my God. Is that in my notebook? Take a picture, Caddy. Do you always sit like this? Nah, we moved all the tables around so we could all be sitting at the same table as you. Um, I have to go. I'll come I'll with you. Go. Go. I have to go too. Let's all give a big monster high welcome to our newest student, Caddy Noir. Um, where's Caddy? I think she left. And we were just going to listen to her new song. Normal Ghoul. Wait a sec. It's all here in her music. I just want to be a normal ghoul. Be like my fans and go to school. Caddy came to Monster High to be a regular student, not a pop star. We gotta fix this before Caddy decides to leave Monster High forever. Hey, Caddy, having a good day? Yeah. People were acting weird at first, but now... Now you're just a regular student at Monster High? We should have realized that not everybody wants to be the center of attention. What? A diva locker is a horrible thing to waste. <laughs> I call this meeting of the Disappearing Club to order. Twyla. Here. Invisibility? Here. So that's everybody. <sighs> hey, Caddy. You startled us. I'll be out of here just as soon as the coast is clear. Oh, so you're not here for the Disappearing Club. The Disappearing Club? That sounds like exactly what I need. It, it does? I came to Monster High because I wanted to shed the spotlight and just be a normal ghoul. Where'd she go? Sometimes I wish I could just disappear. I know what you mean. Do you guys have space for one more monster in your club? Oh, oh, oh. Caddy joined the Disappearing Club. Oh, really? Wow, our club is really taking a Caddy. Caddy, over here. So, what, what kind of disappearing are you into? Oh, ow. Hey, don't 
any of you care about disappearing? Oh, I do. I love a demonstration. How about you two disappear so I can get an autograph without you interrupting us? Be back to hell. Awesome. I'm so sorry. I ruined your club. But don't worry. I'm quitting. As long as those other monsters know they can see me here, they'll keep coming back. I think there's a way we can fix this. <laughs> Where's Caddy? If she's not gonna be here, there's no point in coming anymore. Yeah! It worked! That was amazing, Caddy. I just did what you showed me. Disappearing rocks. We know. No. Do you really nail using camouflage to tie Cheer for us, Torlai. Shouldn't you, you know, cheer for us? I'm not really what you'd call a team player. No! Hey! Sorry, didn't see you. It's been so easy to get past your team on the field. I kind of forgot you Monster High Ghouls were even here. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get me a uniform. with all of you to kick some vampire fang, but I'm no joiner. She combined, created a bone. And before she even realized her silent mistake, she couldn't stop dancing the zombie shape. It's hard to describe this new dance she created. It's strange and it's weird, but it's not complicated. She jumped and she lurched and she danced across the floor. She couldn't stop, so she danced right through the door. She danced through the hallway and caused quite a scene. It was the craziest dance the students had seen. And when she bumped into slow-mo and a twist most outrageous, they discovered the zombie shape was contagious. <laughs> Taken by this zombified boogie of shifting and shaking, but it didn't end there. No, we're just getting started. There's no stopping the dance of the dearly departed. Before the entire school was infected He said as long as we're consumed by this monstrous stress We might as well throw a zombie dance Adventures. 
this week's episode, The Coin Calamity. It all started in the student lounge. After a long day of keeping watch over the hallways of Monster High, the secret creatures were enjoying a much needed afternoon break. <laughs> Julia could hardly contain herself. Her limited edition dead fast coin collection was complete. Yeah. A beautiful collection, Gulia. I hear those are so rare. Now, do I want some Quizits or maybe some mummy buddies? Quizits it is. <laughs> Creatures knew their mission. They had to get Gulia's coin back. His set slithered into action. But things got more complicated for the creatures because Mr. Hack was keen for a snack. Oh, I think it's time for me afternoon crisps. <laughs> Ghoul Ranch! Me pay for it! Oh, what's all this then? His pet was in danger! The creatures had to act fast! Blast it all! Break's over! And I was pretty hungry, too! <laughs> Later that day, Gulia went to her locker and couldn't believe her undead eyes. <laughs> Once again, the creatures had come through. But there was still one more wrong to make right. Ghoul Ranch, where did this come from? Yes, justice will be served for students and teachers alike, thanks to the heroics of the secret creatures. <laughs> Hello, Skeletor. Is this your first day at Monster High, too? I am Catherine. I can tell that you are also worried. Will I fit in? Will they like me? Come, we will find out together. Welcome to Monster High. Claudine, Laguna, here's your class schedules and locker assignments. Hi, I'm Frankie. Come on, we'll show you around. We are, we are. Oh, sorry, it's a closed practice. You know, um, there's a lot of sports here, too. I'm open. Hey, guys. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> your third period class will be with Mr. Rada. And I don't give a... Oh, he's all bark and no bite. Speaking of bite, here's the Creepateria. Oh, look, there's Jennifer and Skeleta. Pleasure to meet you. So nice to meet you. Hey, look, new scare master, new kids. I can't wait for them to see the big surprise. Yeah! Hold! Shh! Uh, he means surprise test. <laughs> yeah, in Cloculus. <laughs> this? What this? Oh, hey, Abby. Um, <clears throat> Cloculus? Uh, yes! Oh. Gulia, don't talk their heads off. Everyone seems nice, but think that they are hiding something. Maybe they do not like us. Maybe we do not fit in. <gasps> Voltage, come on! Surprise! Welcome to Monster High! We are, we are Monster High! Just for us? I remember how nervous I was when I was new. Worried if I would be accepted? Well, you are. You are Monster High. We are Monster High. Why is the cafeteria so crowded? Mm -hmm. It's getting hard to find a place to sit these days. Here's your lunch. What, what is it? Lunch. Don't you have something a little healthier? Don't forget your dessert! We've got to tell blood good about this! You call this healthy? Right now, my priority is dealing with the overcrowded creepateria situation. Let us put together a whole new healthier menu! All right then. Tomorrow, you ghouls are in charge of the new menu. Oh, my oh, God. God. I Thank you, mistress. with the new and improved Monster High Creepateria! You should try the vegetarian hot dogs. They're scary good. We think they're so special with their uh, apples and their... Uh, what are these things again? Oranges. Ooh, 
I've got an idea. <laughs> and this is our new healthy condiments bar, complete with a special portion control feature. <laughs> <laughs> what happened in here? Oh, we, um... <laughs> Say hello to your brand new outdoor crematoria. Brilliant. With all this extra outdoor seating, the whole school has a place to eat. And thanks to you, they'll be eating healthier, too. Keep up the good work, ladies. Just, Just uh, doing our jobs. jobs. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey, these oranges are actually pretty tasty. Oh, you betcha. Good game, huh? Go team! <laughs> What's got you showing off things? I just set up Manny and Iris. I really liked it when you did. <laughs> oh, I knew this was a mistake. Don't worry, he likes you. He just got distracted. <laughs> Is the seat taken? Hey, Iris. Red Devil's Food Ice Cream Cake, come and throw. Hey, Manny. Uh, carry my books to class? Um, uh, sure. And she was all, is that real? Transylvania. I don't understand. He clearly likes you. I don't know. He keeps getting distracted. Minotaurs are just like bulls. They can't help chasing things that are red. Watch. <laughs> Great. So all I have to do to keep Manny's attention is get rid of every red thing in the entire school. Easy. I think I got a better idea. Three, two, one. <laughs> hey, that's a nice color on you. <laughs> Will you walk me to mad science class? Sure. Hey, Iris. Oh, uh, hey, girls. So, Draculaura says you've been dating Manny Tour for the last two weeks. We need details. Go. Manny's nice. Yeah. Dates. Kinda. Another two points for superstar Manny Tour! playing a lot of games together, which he wins. He takes me to lunch all the time. And last night he took me dancing. If you could call it dancing. So, Manny's basically just bringing you around to do guy stuff with his friends? Ghoul, you've got to tell him that tonight you two are doing something that you want to do. Here he comes now. Tell him. Hey, Iris. I was thinking about tonight, and I thought we could... Sit outside and look at the stars? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. I promised the guys we'd go down and meet him in the catacombs and search for gross bugs. <laughs> cool, huh? No, Manny. I'm not meeting you anywhere because we're through. <laughs> uh, uh. I'm confused. Manny, have you ever done anything that was Iris's idea without the guys? Well, there was the one... Uh, yeah, uh, nope. What am I gonna do? <sighs> you think Iris would like that? <laughs> Wait, what's he doing here? <sighs> Yeah, so they're for you. The constellations. <laughs> Let's start with Taurus, the bull. I think you'll like that one. Huh? Hey, Gulia, what are you working on? Greetings. I am an 
Monster 1.0. Crikey! What does she do? <gasps> I can navigate the shortest, fastest route to any classroom in Monster High. Bonza! How's it work? <laughs> oh, you set the Epps IQ to 100% and its emotional intelligence to zero. So she's totally logical. Come on! We gotta tell everyone about this. They're all gonna wanna download in a monster. <laughs> get to class in a minute. I'm having the most awesome talk with my inner monster. So, like I was telling you, I was so embarrassed. Totally. Sometimes I just need to hide behind my screensaver. Woo! I was so mad. I just wanted to... Samantha or something! Yeah! Sure. <laughs> wow, inner monster. It's like you totally get me. <laughs> Don't! You have to know to fail yet! She's totally aces! Uh -huh. Inner monster may not be getting us to class any quicker, but she does something way better. You've totally made an app that understands my inner monster. Because having someone who is totally in sync with how you're feeling, well, that's pretty fantastic. Uh -huh. So she doesn't do exactly what you designed her to do. Inner monster is clawsome! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. made a new friend. <laughs> Let me guess. Manny? I keep trying to get him to open up to me, but every time I ask him to tell me what he's thinking, all he says is... What am I gonna do? Iris, if you two can't have a real conversation... I know! I'm gonna have It'll be okay. There are plenty of other monsters out there. But he's the boy I like. I just wish there was some way I could fix this. <laughs> yes! This is exactly the kind of real, open conversation I've dreamed of having for so long. I just wish I was having it with my boyfriend instead of an app on my eye coffin. I know exactly how you feel. <gasps> that gives me a awesome idea! Maybe you can help me understand Manny! Oh, this could be my last chance to save my relationship. Sure! Each moment away from your fantastic beauty has been an agonizing eternity. That's exactly what I meant! <sighs> Beneath your rugged exterior beat a poet's heart that was the soulmate of my own. Uh, she really likes you. Oh, good. Ditto. It is almost beyond the ability of mere words to express the fullness my heart feels for you. Oh, Manny. I still don't know about those two. You don't need an app to express how you really, truly feel about me, do you? Oh, um, yeah, I, uh, well... You know, it's, I, uh, yeah. Inner monster to the rescue. He likes you, too. There's only two minutes left in the most important grade ball game of the year. And we've actually got a chance to beat Centaur Tech, so don't blow it. Nathan, just wanted to wish you luck. Thanks, Frankie. You gotta be the first zombie unicorn player in the history of grave ball. What's your position? Uh, well, mostly sitting down. Dude! I don't actually play for the team. Zombie side makes me too clumsy. But when one of our guys gets hurt, I use my unicorn power and heal them. Don't you want to play? Uh, totally, uh, but every time I ask if I can get in the game, I love you, bro, but you're horrible. No way. 30 seconds left to score. Now get in there, Manny. He's got it. Uh, 
Me? I'm putting you in the game. Come out here on the field as a player and heal me. You can do this, Nathan. Everyone's counting on you to help the team make the winning play. I'm on it. Whoops. Now I'm on it. I got it. Oh, no, this is the, this is the ball. Irina, how excited she was for new Tai Chi. Oh, what's that? You don't know? But you're a mermaid. Half. My mom's a mermaid. My dad's a ghost. My parents try so hard not to push one of their scaritages over the other. Because new Tai Chi is only the spiffiest mermaid holiday of the year. The fiend ball game is always fun. <laughs> but the party really starts when the dancing begins. That does sound classum. <gasps> you think that's fun? On Minotaurial Day, we do nothing but dead bots! I still think New Tide's Eve sounds scary good. It kind of reminds me of Chainsgiving. What's that? After hanging decorations on the Chainsgiving tree, we sit down for a huge, messy feast. I had no idea I had two such class on holidays. I can't wait to celebrate them both. You're in luck. Mine's tonight. Crikey, you should celebrate with Laguna tonight. No, I can tell how excited you are to share your holiday with Sirena. You should totally celebrate with Spectra. Sirena's not with you. I, I thought she was with you. Sirena! Sirena! Over here! We've been looking all over the school for you, mate. Why didn't you meet either of us? I was busy working on this. Oh, it's like new Tai Chi and Chief Gibby mixed together. It's a fusion. Just like me. And the best part of it is we can all celebrate it together. <laughs> The Catacombs has been a place for animals to gather for millions of years. The very first fish crawled out of the sea right here. During the Ice Age, animals chilled out here. Join me, Jane Bulletin, on a tour of the Monster High Pets. Creature Cribs. When it's time for Count Fabulous to kick back and hang, there's no more fantastic place than his perch. Creature Cribs. Yes, Neptuna. You have winged out your bowl in Toot's terrifying style. Watch what's it show how he keeps his scary fresh chrome home just as shiny. Crescent's killer red velvet couch is the perfect place to do what she does best. Nothing. Does this look like a place you'd like to spend some time? This is Torlai's pet, Sweet Fang, and Twyla's pet, Dust Bunny, Dustin. Julian belongs to Venus and Crescent. You must know Cushion already, since he's Haoling's pet. These new pets are going to be joining us here, and until they get their own creature cribs, do you think you guys would be able to share yours? Great! Be right back! in with their perfect counterparts. Well, that was easy. But I guess I should have known you guys wouldn't have trouble sharing your... Creature Cribs. Leo, have you 
you see, Gil? No, Deuce is missing too. It looks like all the boys are gone. That's the sound of our boyfriends geeking out. Just to watch our boyfriends play a silly little game? Little? Gil and Deuce have been battling it out for 48 hours straight. You're going down, bottom dweller. Oh, yeah? Well, all I have to say to that is... But sing the boom! Yeah! Oh! No one can stop me now! Oh! I beg to differ. Uh, hey. We've been worrying about you. It looks like you haven't slept or eaten. No, we've been eating. Uh, paranormal power bar me, bro. See? What I can't see is why you'd put yourself through this. What do you get if you win? Something pretty for me. <laughs> oh, even better. Knowing that I utterly smashed Gil into fish biscuits. What? Yeah, well, um, I'm gonna grind you into snake biscuits. What? what? Is this game more important than your friendship? Whoa. Dude. I mean, sure, I, I really want to win the game and everything, but, uh... Um... Me too, but not if my best friend has to suffer an epic beatdown. I know how much you want to win. So, I'm going to lose this game like no one's ever lost it before. Prepare to destroy me. Oh, no. I'm going to lose so bad, you'll never even see it coming. You don't stand a chance of losing to me. Oh, yeah? We'll just see about that. Boom, 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 boom. I just blew up my own ship's week. I just vaporized mine, bro. I think this is going to take a while. Paranormal power bomb. Dude, you're never going to win as much as you're going to win right now. Oh, Mr. Rotter was all like, back in my day, a text was something you kept on a bookshelf. <laughs> oh, teachers. <laughs> hey, you two love that. Ready to hit the creepateria? Oh, don't. But first, I've got to show you girls this new eyeshadow color. Ooh, topaz. There it is. <laughs> don't you think it's time to clean out your locker? You make a fair point. But on the other hand, I need all of this. There's got to be something here you can get rid of. Uh, oh, how about this? That uh, is a textbook. Lakers! Draculaura's locker needs a major makeover. Julia, think you can whip up some blueprints? <laughs> I can help with the design. When you live in a lamp, you learn a thing or two about decorating small spaces. Great. And Claudine will get Bloodgood's permission. And Claude can put it together in shop class. It's time to shock up with a new locker. Coming, Dracula? Uh, in a minute. I just want to fang out in here a little longer. So, still loving the new locker? It is the coolest locker at Monster High by Creeps and Bounds. <sighs> you filled that entire locker in one week? So it would seem. <laughs> I know, I know. I know what I have to do. And then when you're done with these, what do you think about building another dozen in the gym? For my fear squad things, because I have so many things in there. That would be the really Pardon me. Coming through. Look at this mob. All of them here to try out for Operetta's big spring musical. <laughs> what do you mean you think I'm not trying out? You try out for the school musical every year. <laughs> yeah, and she never gets a part. Give her a break, Torelai. Gorilla's been practicing for this tryout for weeks. It's been her dream to get the lead in this show since forever. Come on, mate. You can't get the part without trying. You can't fail without trying either. <laughs> you never know what can happen if you just give things a try. <sighs> Y'all nailed that audition, Caddy. Thanks. She's oh, I think I got it. Mikey, that's not good. <laughs> that's Caddy Noir, the most famous pop monster in the world. 
I give up, you should give up. Everyone should give up. I'm sorry, Gulia. Maybe next year. Oh, hi, Gulia. You're the only one left audition. Come on in. <sighs> Still don't get how Gulia got the lead in the play. I thought Caddy nailed the audition. Caddy wasn't trying out for the lead. She wanted to play the supporting role for a change. And since Gulia was the only other ghoul with the guts to try out, she got the lead. Yeah. You're screaming in the drain. <laughs> Final day to enroll in the Monster Exchange program. To take advantage of this program and spend a scare mester abroad in a foreign country. Representatives from all over the globe are waiting to help you sign up. Look at all these places we get to choose from. Scaris, Transylvania, Dubai. Any idea where you might want to go, Draculaura? I don't know. <laughs> what if I make the wrong one? Oh, this is too much pressure. I've got a solution that cannot be beat. You spend Scaremaster at Himalaya High. The Himalayas. Well, on the plus side, I do have a lot of cute winter clothes I never get to wear. But something tells me I might want to go somewhere that has more temperatures than just cold and also cold. Maybe I need to pick a place that has a lot of art and culture. How about Madrid? A scare master in Spain. Oh, very artistic. Uh, excuse me, Senor Dragon. Uh, do you know what time it is? <laughs> right for me either. Well, it sounds colossal to me. I'm signing up right now. Die a land? I don't know. Scargentina? Maybe? Dominican Republic? Uh -oh. How do I know when I pick a place that I'm not missing out on something else? Why not pick a country that has a little bit of everything? Shibuya, Japan. There's the fast-paced street life of our ultra-modern cities. But we also have the calming quiet of our countrysides and zen gardens. And the fashion scene is unlike anything you've ever seen. Fantastic! It sounds like a dream! Also, it's the only monster exchange destination left. <laughs> You spent the whole day imagining yourself in different places and must have lost track of time. It's the end of the day, mate. Oh, okay. Shibuya, Japan, it is. Ladies and gentle monsters, welcome to Shibuya, Japan. Ooh, wow. Shibuya seems perfect in my imagination. But, um, now that I'm here, <laughs> uh, what if I don't really fit in? What if nobody likes me? What if I made the wrong choice? Konnichiwa, Ichi. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. I think I'm going to like it in Shibuya. Another scare master down, so you know what that means. New fair boss. Leo. Totally awesome in this picture. And I look absolutely amazing in this picture. Oh, you were talking about me. I need to put this online. Happy Fable Day. Huh? Who's that? Oh, hi. That's a bunny good one. Oh, how'd you do that? Sorry about that. I just love a good photo bomb. The name's Lorna. Lorna McNessie. Oh, you're one of the new Monster Exchange students. You're from Lake Loch Ness in the Frightlands of Rotland. You might have heard of my dad, the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Again, Miss McNessie. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone has to keep you two on your fins. <laughs> well, there's the sweetest, most loving, bestest father a girl could ever ask for. You're not going up to the surface, lassie. You've been to the surface before. And a right lot of good that did me. 
Don't you remember how much trouble that we picture caused? We had every normie from here to Glasgow invading our lake, trying to find our castle. Please, Dad, you know I'll be careful. Did I mention you're the bestest? Aye, <laughs> you did. One hour. Oh, Dad, thank you! But you're to stay away from the normies. <laughs> Did get me good side. I don't know why I did it, but there was something about that camera that just compelled me. I just had to. I just had to photobomb that man's camera. It's the photo that's taken the world by storm. Wants to know who is the photobombing Loch Ness monster? And um, did they get me good side? With the lake overrun with gnomes, my dad and I decided it would be best to get away for a while. We discovered the exchange program at Monster High. It was a chance for me to really explore the surface world beyond the lake. And so, it was photobombing that brought me here to Monster High. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Well, allow us to be the first to welcome you to Monster High and wish you good luck on your first day of school. Oh, today is not my first day. I've been here all semester. I'm off. See all of you later. Uh, ghouls. Lorna wasn't kidding. <laughs> and monster beat you. I'm all about big hair, big shoes, and big attitude. Today is the day I hop on a train for my escape master at Monster High. I was accepted into their monster exchange program. Will I miss Monster beat you? Claro! <laughs> of course! But as you know, this sassy Sasquatch is always up for a new adventure. My getty cousin is a student at Monster High. She's come here to Monster Pichu to ride with me back to Monster High on the train. Hello, cousin? In here, Abby. It's my last day in Monster Pichu, and I was really looking forward to showing you around before we go. Perhaps we can dawdle for a little while. Have you ever seen a place more gorgeous than Monster Pichu? Yes, yes, very pretty. Lots of big feet. But now it's time to head to station. Okay, you're right. I'm ready for my Monster High adventure. <gasps> oh, but you have to surf down the Amazon Beat River first. <laughs> Pantalones. <laughs> yes, your guinea pigs all very handsome and well named, but we should really be going. <laughs> what do you think of your Mari makeover? Actually, I love it. Now I must. See, see the train station, I know. But you can't leave Monster Beach without seeing our fabulous jungle. But after that, no more monkey business. Running from spider monkeys is very much a monkey business. <laughs> I told you we'd get to the train station. Eventually. But at me. You had fun in Monster Pichu. You know something, cousin? I really did. Mari, those platforms are to die for. What can I say? I've got a lot to work with. <laughs> oh, hey. Do you girls know what happened to Abby? I haven't seen her all week. Oh, I can answer that. Buenos dias, chicos and chica. It's your fool, Abby Abominable, coming to you live from Monster Pichu. She had such a great time, she decided to stay an extra week. For those who do not know me, I am all about big hair, somewhat average-sized shoes, and big attitude, thanks to my cousin, Mark. <laughs> Beautiful dog, Laguna. I can't believe this is my last practice before I leave for Monster Exchange. You're gonna have the best time going to school in Madrid. But I'm going to miss you all so much. Especially Gil. That new ghoul Lorna has got some big flippers to fill while you're gone. 
Hey, Gil, want to go shopping with me this afternoon? Gil, you promised you would help me with that um, thing. Right, uh, the, the thing. Is that okay? Uh, of course. <laughs> Thanks for understanding, Laguna. Wow, Gil and Lorna are fanging out together, and you're okay with that. Why wouldn't I be? I'd be jealous. Like, major jealous. Like, super major, mega, big time jealous. Like, I get it, Serena. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> Sorry. It's just Gil's parents would love it if he broke up with me and started dating a freshwater ghoul like Lorna. Why don't you ask him? Because that would show him that I don't trust him. But I do. Don't I? Oh, uh, we're gonna follow them, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Big time. <laughs> We come from two different worlds. We belong together. <gasps> uh oh, uh, Laguna. Serena. Gil. <laughs> Serena. <laughs> what are you doing here? Laguna knows all about what's going on here. Laguna knows about Finn. That's right. What's Finn? Lorna's saltwater boyfriend. Yeah. Finn's a saltwater merman, and I'm a freshwater lake. Like me and Gil. He was helping you figure out how to talk to your freshwater parents. Yeah, I've been trying to find a way to tell my father. I'm sorry to have stolen Gil away for so long. Shh, hardly noticed. So, what are you doing down here? I, um, wanted to give you... this to remember me by. Oh, Finn. If Gil and Laguna can make it work, I just know that we can, too. Let's leave these two alone. Oh, Gil. I wish you could see how beautiful it is here at Don Quixote High. It's all so educational. Oh, I knew you'd love it in Madrid. Yeah, but I sure do miss you. I miss you, too, Laguna. But, hey, at least I still have this shell to remember you by. <laughs> We get to make freaky flowery dresses for the gloom and bloom dance. Très monstrifique. I love the dress, but I feel like it would look better if my hair wasn't so monstrous. If anyone needs to change something about themselves, it is me. Look at how very long my tail is. My ears? They are so not pointy enough. I wish my complexion were greener. Look at me. No beauty marks. Perfectly symmetrical face. I'm too beautiful. Silencio! <gasps> You scared us. You just wait and see how scary I can get if I hear any more negativity from you, chicas. Haven't you ever wanted to change something about yourself? See, back in Monster Beach, you, I used to be ashamed of the size of my feet. I could not stand the sight of my feet, and I didn't want anyone to look at them, especially some squatch. Back in those days, I would do almost anything to hide them from the other Bigfoots. I was in a foot fright mirror until one night when I found the perfect solution to my problem. The Tootsinator! Guaranteed to make your feet three sizes bigger! You were embarrassed because you thought your feet were too... Small? What did you think I meant? I had the uh, smallest feet in the village. The Tootsinators cost me all the money I had saved up in my guinea piggy bank. They arrived just in time for the Monster Pichu Jungle Jam. Everyone would be there, including Sun Squash. I think they're working. Are you okay? Bueno. Uh, would you like to dance? Yes! Yes! Mm, uh, see, sure. I realized that 
Maybe if Sasquatch didn't care about the size of my feet, why should I? He liked me for being me. <laughs> it's silly to worry about a part of me that I can't change. So, from that moment on, I decided to love every part of myself for who I am. <laughs> ah, something to think about next time you look in the mirror. Hey! Thanks for the talk yesterday, Mari. I guess sometimes it takes a wise ghoul to remind us that Monster High is all about loving your freaky flaws. Well, for most of us anyway. Oh, haven't you heard? Big feet are so in this season. <laughs> Good said we could have the gloom and bloom dance in the garden. I didn't realize that meant we had to work in the garden. Come on, Cleo. It's not so bad. Look around at how happy the plants are making everyone. Uh, careful, Lorna. That's the rarest plant in the whole garden, the corpse flower. It only blooms once every 1,300 years. And tonight, we'll all get to see it at the Gloom and Bloom dance. Oh, I just wish Laguna were here to see it with me. That's right. She's still in Madrid. Oh, Gil, I know how you feel. I miss my boyfriend back in Rawland. Oh, speak of the devil. I... <laughs> Lorna! It's from Lorna's boyfriend. <gasps> He's breaking up with her. How I could we know? What do we do? This is no time for a ghoul to sit home and mope. The dance must go on. We're gonna make sure that Lorna has a great time tonight. <laughs> Operation Help Out Our Bestie McNessie is a go. Hey, Lorna, what you need right now is some serious time with your ghoul friends. Um, and your... Gil friend. I'm not coming out. Quel disaster. Lorna, we're here with the Skultimate Ghoul Friend Emergency Heartbreak Kit. With revitalizing makeup, four years of Monster Beat magazines, and the biggest ice cream sundae we could find on short notice. No, thank you. We're gonna miss the corpse flower blossom. Um, can I try something? Lorna, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> Tonight's the night of the Gloom and Bloom dance, and I figured you could let me take you to the dance. You know, as, as friends. <laughs> You're so sweet, Gil. Laguna's a lucky ghoul. I, I'll go to the dance with you as friends, but I don't have anything to wear. Out of the way, Gil. Yeah. We've got to work to And here's a little move I like to call the Sea Slug Slide. <laughs> Thank you for convincing me to come out tonight. It helps to be here with my friends. And we finally get to see the corpse flower bloom tonight. Oh, yawn! Let me tell you, I've seen one, and trust me, corpse flowers stink. Oh, don't be such a bloom kill, Cleo. Corpse flowers are supposed to be the most beautiful in the world. I just hate that Laguna won't be here to... Gil? <laughs> What's going on here? Yes, to the gloom and bloom dance. Okay, so it is what it looks like. Oh, um, L Laguna, I, I can explain. Don't. I came all the way back from Madrid early so that I could surprise you at the dance. And I come in to find you dancing with another ghoul. I have to go. <laughs> Laguna! The corpse flower, it's starting to bloom after 1,300 years. Let's hope it's nothing like the last corpse flower I saw. That flower reeked. Um, uh, Laguna, I, uh, I only took Lorna to the dance as a, as a friend friend. Her boyfriend broke up with her and, well, she needed somebody to frighten up her day, you know? <laughs> That's very sweet of you. I'm sorry I caused a scene, I just... I had this picture in my head of what tonight would be like. Surprising you, running into your arms. We'd watch the corpse flower finally blossom. <gasps> oh my ghoul! The corpse flower! Gil! We're missing it! I'd rather be right here with you 
because I know how hard it is to be the new ghoul at school. Been a while. How do you two know each other? We have history. Dracula, Lara, your outfits are to die for. Let me borrow some of these. You'll be lucky if you ever see them again. Oh, you could be a model. Thanks. I already am, actually. Here, I always carry a few shots from my portfolio around for fans. That's my purse! Amanita, we were just playing truth or scare. Oh, I pick truth. How do you and Cleo know each other? Oh, we go way back, don't we, Cleo? Because I only bloom once every 1,300 years, I am a pretty big deal. Your queen! Has arrived. Hi, you call it bowing? Put your backs into it. You worshippers are so lucky. You have the privilege of enjoying my loveliness all day long. It's a fair, but there isn't a single reflective surface to gaze upon myself. And the villagers realized I was much too rare and special to keep for themselves. So I was gifted to the denial family. My family became trapped in our own tomb. I admit it got pretty boring to Amanita's friends. Out. I love that outfit. You have to let me borrow it. And she did borrow it, along with everything else. Mm, and I'm gonna borrow this, and take this, and ooh, borrow some of your hair things. A ghoul needs her beauty sleep. But that wasn't even the worst part. I'm all tuned out. Let's see if I can root out an escape plan. Amanita, you found a way out. Get help. I'll go for help. Hey, I'm gonna borrow this. That was nice of Amanita to go for help. Except that she didn't come back. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> well, I believe that monsters can change. Cleo, truth or scare? Big scare. <sighs> scare. I scare you to get along with Amanita. Uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! And how about you, Amanita? Uh, Amanita? <gasps> because Amanita took everything! Borrowed. Yeah, she does that. Welcome, ghouls and monsters, to the greatest show on Earth. Prepare for magic, mimes and marionettes, dangers high and low. Now, meet your ringmaster, the newest ghoul at the freakiest school, Goliope Shellington. Welcome to Life 
Freakdo Chic, a festival of freaky flaws. The night of Freak to Chic is still young, and everything is riding on this show. But first, let's do that thing where I back things up a bit. It all started two days ago, when we were first introduced to the school's grouchy accountant. Mr. Grunderson, what brings you up here from your little accounting hole? This wasteful school is running out of money. We must cut some programs. What do you suggest? The arts programs. Wasting time and money. No more painting. No more music. And especially, no more theater. The arts are just as important as learning dead languages and clockulous equations. I won't allow it. The Board of Education has already given me total authority to make any money-saving cuts I see fit. <laughs> Attention, students. Start boxing up your fake brushes and xylophones. As of this moment, the arts classes at Monster High are we were about to discover Monster High's newest arrival. I don't care what that troll Mr. Grunderson says. I want to save those classes. What if there was some way we could save the art programs, like a fundraiser? Ew! What's this positive, flowery feeling I'm having inside? I think it means you agree with Frankie. I don't like it. Maybe there's something here that can help us. Creeperific! Sorry, that happens when I get nervous. <sighs> my name is Goliope Jellington. Hey, you found my trunk! Oh, just what I was looking for! <laughs> you are a circus ghoul! <laughs> All my life, my family was famous for our traveling show. Freak du Chic, a festival of freaky flaws. But now that I found my trunk, I can get back to doing what I love. The freak show must go on. Just had a voltageous idea. If we put on our own freak to chic show, we could use the ticket sales to save Monster High's art classes. I could help. Right? Wait, 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 wait. I have a knack for making costumes, sets, all the stuff you ghouls will need to put on a freaky, fabulous fundraiser. We've got a lot of work to do. Grunderson, I can't believe that accounting troll managed to cut all the arts at Monster High. Yeah, you're telling me. Now I'll never get to show off my stilt skills. Wow! What an entrance! The name's Goliope Jellington, and I'm your freak to chic ringmaster. You want to save the arts here at Monster High? Well, mark your calendars right now, boys and ghouls, because next week we're going to put on the greatest show on Earth. Don't forget, freak to chic. Get your chic on. Maybe we can help. We've got talents. I've got my stilts. Oh, I've got something in mind. It's some kind of show. Circus, I don't know. Those ghouls are trying to save the arts program with it. And they are going over my head. This is an unauthorized performance on school property. So what do you want the Board of Education to do about it? I want you to shut this down. Stop right this minute! These ghouls are going to great lengths to raise money to save the arts. You must let them perform. But they are breaking the rules. We'll allow your ghouls to proceed, but they only have until midnight tonight. If they cannot raise the funds, the matter will be closed. <laughs> Next week, we're not ready to put on a show tonight. Hey, speak for yourself, Frankie. This V-Line is ready to shine. It's the best I could do, Frankie. The Board of Education was quite final about this. They banged the gavel and everything. Y'all know what they say. The show must go on. I have the utmost confidence in you ghouls. Why don't you show me what you've got? This is going to be Clawsome. They've just finished a crash course in circus skills. Freak de chic. Impressive. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing? I'm not done yet. Sorry, Frankie. I'm still getting the hang of my marionettes. 
Teach us too, Goliope. The more the merrier, I guess. There we were, with only an hour left before our big freak to chic circus spooktacular. We had tried to use our freaky flaws to fundraise to save the arts at Monster High, but it looked like we had failed. So that's it then? You're just gonna give up on the show? Yeah, pretty much. Believe me, Goliope, I thought this was gonna be the greatest show of our unlives. But at midnight tonight, the cuts become permanent. You don't wanna live in a world without art. I've been there. When I lost my circus trunk, I couldn't perform. The world was gray. Nothing made sense. Have you stopped to think about what Monster High will be like without the arts? We have to keep trying. Yes. Yeah, she's right. <laughs> You almost had it before. The problem is you were also busy thinking about your own tricks, that you forgot that a show takes teamwork. You were so worried about the spotlight, you weren't paying attention to what your other ghoul friends were doing. I understand. This is not just about any one trick. This is about all of us. This is art. This is Freak to Chic. These ghouls are giving you a chance to save the arts at Monster High. Every donation you make using your eye coffin brings us one step closer to our goal. We have until midnight to save the arts. So take it away, ghouls! <laughs> Enough. <laughs> but Mr. Grunderson, we still have five more minutes. You'll never make it in time. These cuts are for your own good. What is happening? It's Goliope. This happens when she gets nervous or mad. jungle flower, and Batsy just missed the boat. Where is this plant's final destination? It's going to a uh, monster high. A troll village in Goreway. Meet Stomp, Grunt, and Clobber. Who's up for some troll games? I want to play. And their sister, Kirsty. Kirsty is what you'd call an indoor ghoul. Troll a ball. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. I want a rematch! Sure, Kirsty. Mmm, fast for video game. You think you can beat us at video games? And I win! 
win! I'll beat you! And I win again! Check me out! Number one in the whole world! Your tall ham of 530? Nobody has ever beat your score! I know! <laughs> Want to play again? <laughs> what? Who is beating me? Miss Deadfast. Looks like I'm going to Monster High to take back my title. Easy Dawn Dancer. She lives in Boo, Hexaco. Easy loves performing the old dance of her people. Easy's family has the power to have visions. Hey, uh, come back. I had a vision. There was a place called Monster High. You must go to this place, Easy. No, I can't leave the family. Following your vision is the only way to find what it means. You must go to this monster high. But first, one more family dance. Three ghouls searching for something. A rare plant, a daunting challenge, and a mysterious meaning. Will they find what they're looking for at Monster High, or will they find something even better? This is the story of how three new ghouls joined the Monster High Exchange Program. Batsy is searching for an endangered flower that was taken from her home in Costa Shrika. Avid gamer Kirsty is on a mission to find the ghoul that beat her high school. And a vision brought Easy to Monster High, and she's here to find out why. <laughs> Go, Stork Kid! All right, you pesky plant poacher! I'm taking that Go Stork Kid back to Costa Rica! We can do this the easy way! <laughs> or that way? Miss Deadfast, I presume. Uh, the name's Kirsty, but you probably know me as Trollhammer530. You beat my high score, and I'm calling you out. One more game? I win! Why did you bring me to this place? are left in the world? 37. Okay, they didn't see that coming. I'm working on a new plant food that should triple the ghost orchid's pollination so it doesn't go extinct. That ghost orchid is staying here at Monster High. And so am I. <laughs> Rock and troll. You're so good. Wanna play something else? <laughs> Now tell me, why am I here? They're dancing! Ooh, they're trying to dance. You're doing it wrong and messing up my routine! Ugh, this new dance is not working. I can show you a dance. Where did you learn to move like that? From my family. My name is E.C. Dawn Dancer, and I just figured out why I'm here. Three very different ghouls. They not only found what they were looking for, but they each found something they didn't know they wanted. Batsy was looking for a plant, but instead she found an ally. Kirsty thought she came to defend her title, but what she really found was a friend. And E.C.'s vision guided her away from her family in order to pass along a special part of her culture to others. Uh, did you just... See, um, nah, couldn't be. What in the name of all that is dead and moldy? This is decomposition class, not some ice cream social in which to party down. You have no idea how lucky you are to go to a school like Monster High. We do appreciate our school. We were... Enough! As punishment, you are all to Fridays explaining why you think you belong at Monster High. And remember, I don't give A's. Well, I guess we'd better get Friday. I think I've got a better idea. Why I belong at Monster High, a voltageous video.
video essay by Mr. Rotter's decomposition class. Photo bomb! Why do I belong at Monster High? Well, when I was the new ghoul at school, everyone made me feel like I belonged. And before long, I had more best friends than I could shake an arm at. Oh, free! Oh, I'm Batik Laru from Costa Rica. I belong at Monster High because I am surrounded by students who care about making the world a better place. I'm Easy. I belong here because everyone accepts me and the way that I express myself. Hola! So you marry Coxie. I was taught that there is only one type of beauty, big feet. But Monster High showed me that there are so many biggie, fabulous types of beauty. Back in Rotland, I got a hard time from my family for my love of being on cameras. But here, I'm allowed to be myself. I belong at Monster High because no matter what, you always feel welcomed. Even if you've been a teensy bit mean. Gory. Okay, a lot of bit mean. Sheesh. I'm Trollhammer 530. Oh, <laughs> I mean Kirsty. I used to be homeschooled with my three brothers. They were bigger than me and made it so that nobody really noticed me or my talents. I belong at Monster High because here, I do get noticed. I win! I prefer, and I like to collect, um, shiny things. I, oh, I was so sure that everybody was going to laugh at me. I belong at Monster High because they didn't. Ryder here. I belong at Monster High because they get me. If I set my mind to it, I can do anything. Why do we belong at Monster High? Because every monster is welcome. Freaky Pops and all. A's. A's for everyone! Everyone! <laughs> <laughs>